we are recording now. Hello, everyone. What is up, scumbags? Hello, hello Yo. you fuckers. Uh, episode 7, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Get this one in the bag. Oh, my God. So, we uh, we just started drinking not too long ago. Um, well, we got tequila and ginger, and then you have foreskin beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so everyone knows that my thing is hard seltzers on this uh, on this shindig. Uh, today, this episode is brought to you by Two Robbers Craft Hard Seltzer. This evening, I'm drinking peach berry. Penis tastes berry. like asshole. <laughs> Penis berry tastes like Penis asshole. berry, exactly. Berry. False advertising. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. Hey, guys, so our special guest here is one of my great friends, man. We've been together for fucking ever. This is Justin, and let me adjust the fucking camera a little bit so we can get closer to Justin, so you can see him a little bit more. I mean, I can always sit on your lap. Here, let me scoot over just a bit. Fuck, hitting everything. So, I also have a cold, guys, and uh, if I cough, and y'all hear it on here, which you probably are going to, um, it's going to fucking suck, and I'm sorry about it, but there's not shit I can do about it. It's going to fucking suck. Um, It's going to fucking suck. And you have to take a shot every cough. All right, boys, what were we doing before this, though? We We were talking about... oh. I didn't hear that. That was that was subliminal messages right there. He said you got to take a shot every time I have a cough. Oh, I'm not objected to that 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 fucking situation at all. That's that's a great obligation we put in, and I'm not upset. But all we have right now, and since we're doing this podcast, is White Claw number three. Justin, how about you show them Variety Pack number three. Number three. Oh, yeah. And here we go. I'm going to do my best Sam Elliott impression and introduce these motherfuckers. So, we got a White Claw number three right here. That does not sound like Sam Elliott at all. <laughs> well, I got to start. I got I to gotta get my zone. Dodge Ram. 1,500 horsepower. It'll knock your dick in the dirt. <laughs> so, Justin, what do we have here today? We have White Claw number three. We've got Blackberry. Blackberry. Oh. OG mango. OG mango. Strawberry. Strawberry. And last but not least, pineapple. Pineapple. Nice. Is there any black coffee in there or whiskey flavored? Yes. You didn't introduce those ones. I had to keep it low key. <laughs> Fuck. For the OGs only. <laughs> it's for the OGs. That's anyway. for later tonight. OG <laughs> flavors. <laughs> Anyway, that was my Sam Elliott impression. You're it sounded it sounded pretty <laughs> shitty. <laughs> <laughs> well, so we also got on to I think we got on the Sam Elliott fucking topic because I was like, but my mustache is better than Sam Elliott's, and but some people, not. some people, yeah, some people would disagree because you know they have old fashioned values. I get it. We're, we're the newcomers, new era. You know, fuck it. But I still Maybe you're just ugly. Damn. But you're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> you may have said something like actually factual there. Oh yeah. You know what? I seem to be the uh, <coughs> fuck the, the person that throws in the most facts on this show. You know, I feel like Wyatt likes to bullshit me, I and then I start throwing facts at him, and he's just like, "Yep, I just, damn, I just this make dude's some, smart." I just make some shit up. I just, exactly. Like, that sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll fill in the blank, you know, but. Yeah, man. So, uh, anyway, you know, Justin, best friend here, Rob, my other good friend. You know, like we're fucking here, hanging out. Uh, we've been we've been talking about having Justin on the show for a minute. Um, we thought a good subject to talk about today, or just kind of like go over a little bit, and that way you can kind of get to know who we are as well. You know, like as people, and we like one. We believe in like love languages and shit too. You know, so I think a good thing is talking about relationships and um, how we, how how to deal or overcome adversity in those relationships. Um, you get the best advice that I've, I've learned from myself personally or Justin or Rob. Um, so it's just going to be like our own personal stories, um, worded best, you know, but um, to, to mainly figure out like the dilemma in our dating pool. Um, and yeah, yeah, you know, it, that's that's a big one. So our dating pool is, is pretty shitty. We know that. But uh, we're, we're going to go over all these topics and then uh, just kind of give give it away. But, um, yeah, uh, I think this is a, uh, be a good topic to talk about because I think there's a lot of people that don't know how to balance their lonely feelings with, uh, what they really should go after and what, and really focusing on yourself before and learning to love yourself before you can pursue somebody else. Does that make sense? 
Makes perfect sense. All right. Well, Absolutely. let's fucking get it. Let's fucking get it, boys. I want to talk about this shit. So, you know, Rob, you're happily married. Congratulations. You said, what, five years? No. I'm just showing my <laughs> ring. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Mm. But, no. So, I have been with my wife for, it'll be six years, six years since June. Uh, we've been married for three as of January. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, so six years Congrats. in total, yeah. Six years in total, yep. That's Longest good. relationship I've ever had by five years and nine months. Now, would you say <laughs> <laughs> five years and nine months? Would you um would you say that, you know, your your marriage is simple? Would you say that it, y'all don't have any complications? You understand? I'm gonna that? I'm gonna go ahead and just stop you right there, my yeah. friend. Yeah. My marriage is not simple. Absolutely. No, and you know what? No marriage is simple. Yeah. And if it is, then there's something wrong that that either they haven't uh, figured out or they just don't want known publicly. Absolutely. And what would you say a difference between a marriage and a relationship is? Um. <clears throat> Because we know, we know not to, like, you know, when, once you date somebody, right? Once you make somebody, like, your girlfriend, you know you're not supposed to, like, cheat right. or, or see, talk to other people. That's just, like, our society yeah. and what we believe. You want to make that commitment to that, that person. Yeah. So here's, here's, what my, here's what I would say the difference is. You know, relationship, you're there. You could be loyal and everything. Um, but there's no guarantee that it's, that it's forever. Yeah. I mean... Granted, there's no guarantee that a marriage is forever either, but when you get married, you make that lifelong commitment. Yeah. Again, things don't always go as planned, but in front of the witnesses, in front of God himself, you make that commitment to spend your life with that person. And I think that is the the difference between uh, a marriage and just a, a relationship. Yeah. It's... It's the commitment. It's the the willingness to do anything and everything to make the relationship work. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'll be the first to tell you, marriage isn't all sunshine and rainbows. Yeah. Oh no. But but um, it's oh. a beautiful thing, and I've I've gone through both the good times, the bad times, and the absolutely worst times. Yep. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't I wouldn't trade anything. Uh, for my wife, I understand, man, and uh, and kudos to you for like understanding and and being able to communicate and talk and keep things going. Yes. I tell you, I tell you what, man, it took a lot of learning on my part. Yeah, um, and that's what I think it that, is. That's what yeah, really what I think. I think the biggest thing for me was communication. I've never been good at it. I've yeah. never been good at communicating. White man has been. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, <clears throat> And and don't get me wrong, women don't make it easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm I'm not afraid to say that <laughs> women don't. Like, women, yeah. women don't make it easy as far as like, if something's bothering them, we we get the whole, what's wrong? Nothing. What's wrong? I'm fine. It's fine. Nothing. It's yeah. fine. Exactly. They go so Sam makes, Elliott it makes, on us. It makes it hard for us to want to communicate as well. Yeah. Um. But I can honestly tell you that is the key to to making a relationship and a marriage work is constantly communicating or at the very least trying to communicate. I feel that. And then never stop dating your spouse. Yeah. That's, Always that's, one, that's one thing that, that tends to happen, and I'm privy to that as well. Um, you know, I, I could definitely do a better job of doing that, but never stop – trying to win your spouse over i feel that absolutely. you know buy her flowers take her out to dinner you know surprise her with the small things that she likes you know like my wife loves jolt coffee it's a little uh coffee hut here in san antonio justin knows <laughs> it's brand it's pretty solid one, it's brand, dude it's it's really good I my wife good. absolutely loves um jolt and she loves dunkin donuts coffee too so what i'll do is i if i'm at work and i know that she has to go work yeah i'll go and i'll be like hey just to let you know, leave 15 minutes early for work because I bought you a coffee and yeah. it's going to be ready by the time you get there. And it's it's small things like that that she appreciates. Um, and it, it, that kind of falls into the whole love language thing that we're going to be talking about tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
that, that's all I got about that right now. Obviously, I'll answer more questions as we go on. But no, it, 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 that, it's good because like I like I want to learn from myself. So like like me personally, like I've been through like you know, um, like so this is a this is kind of a difficult subject for me to talk about personally, um, just because of like how I've seen it, it it's forming me as a person, in which each each. Uh, Thank you, brother. I don't give a shit. I'm like, yeah. So, sorry, we just got some white claws. But it, it is a difficult subject. Cheers. It, it is a difficult subject to talk about just because I see how it formed me negatively and um, how it's um, closed. It, it's, it's made my walls so high, you know, to where I'm always guarded. And, um, like, for anybody that I talk to or, or try to, like, get to know, it's hard for me to let go and, and make that vulnerability notice because I don't want to give anybody that, 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 that vulnerability, you know? Um, I feel like personally, I've, I've loved a few, I've lo- loved a few women in my life. Right. And, uh, that, like that I genuinely cared about and that, that I still think about, but I, I see like how, like, and and I get it. Like, if you're unhappy, you should probably leave. You know, and because like, there's no, there's not really coming back from that. Like, you can try. For me personally, like, if I knew that you were unhappy, I wouldn't want to stay because I'd be like, yo, there's something not right here. You know, there's something that's you can't really correct. You know, um, you can try like counseling, but for me personally, like that counseling doesn't work. You know, um, but it, I I don't know. Like that that's per, that's for everybody, you know. I I really have no idea or uh, I've never done it, so I don't I can't really speak on it. But for me personally, I think I'm too prideful to to let that go and that shit that I have to work on personally as well. And that's one thing, dude. When it comes to a relationship like that, you have to put your pride aside. Yeah. And if it's Absolutely. right, you got to just make it happen. You're right, man. Pride yeah. should never come first. Yeah. And that's a big thing too with with relationships and marriage themselves. <coughs> They're gonna humble the shit out of you. Oh yeah. They're, they either will or they won't, and that's gonna that's gonna prove whether or not it's gonna be a successful relationship or not. If you're willing to put your pride aside, your ego aside, and do whatever it takes to make the relationship work, that's gonna that's gonna decide how it's gonna be in the long run. Honestly. But see, I see, I see. You know, I see complacency set in in a lot of relationships and marriages. And not only does pride do that, but complacency ruins shit too. You get too comfortable. There's no spark anymore, yeah. and you just you know you feel like that's it. You know you feel like that's that's all it's ever gonna be. You feel exactly. me exactly. You you kind of just feel like you're going through the motions every single day. Yeah, man. Because no. everybody loves the new shit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody lo- exactly. loves the puppy stage. Yes. Everybody likes. And the... that's what Rob is saying is yeah. you gotta keep it interesting. Yeah, you gotta keep it fresh. You know, you never stop dating the person that you're with. And it doesn't have to be anything extreme. You don't have to go and like take them out on these fine dining dinners and shit like that. But you know, go for a walk. Go fucking to the ice cream parlor or whatever you got to do to just make it known that you're still wanting to go out and and enjoy the small the small things in life with them. Yeah, makes a big difference. No, and I get that. I I think I'm just stuck in this like complex like 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 I don't know. So I have this like two to three year rule thing, right? Like, and then like uh, a girl will approach me and be like, Oh, I want all this shit with you. Right. Well, to me, I think like, you know, I heard it so many times and then I'm like, okay, I know like I, I've heard this, you know, but I, I believe that that words are words until proven otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Actions do speak louder than words. Right. And I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. But for, sure. for me personally, I think that, you know, I've, I've been in fucking like, like so many situations to where I, I'm just like, I end up getting fucked over. You know, and, and like, I'm like, yo, what, like, you just said some shit, like, not too long ago. And then now I'm hearing about this, like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's why I'm like, I think that's what, it catches me blindsided because I don't even realize it. I don't know what I'm, like, fucking up. And then I have to, like, I don't realize it until after everything's, like, broken and done with. And that's just when it comes to being a man is you stop caring or yeah. you start caring, sorry, no. not when it's too late. Yeah, and, but here's the thing, like, it happens so much you stop caring completely. You know, and, and that's me personally. Like, I, I just don't want to let myself, like I said, bringing up again the vulnerability in the guarded walls. Like, I don't want to let myself feel that again. And um, that's what I'm personally, like, battling with right now. And it's really hard. It's really hard because I, like, I, I like see things that I like and that I try to pursue. And then I stop myself because I know, like, I'm like, wait, I've been here before. 
you know, I don't, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And then I just, I get out completely. No, I, I totally get that, dude. Honestly, I was there not too long ago, even in my marriage. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's definitely one thing that's, that's been rough for me is, um, not being able to communicate, um, the way that I need to, um, you know, geez, that was a good verse. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I mean, communicate, as I said before, communication is, is pretty much key. You know, you're not a mind reader. You're not going to know how your spouse is feeling. They're not going to know how you're feeling. Yeah. Uh, so you need to be able to communicate when something is wrong, when something is bothering you. Um, Otherwise, it's just going to continue to build up and build up and build up. And then you're just going to explode or you're going to resent each other because, you know, you don't talk. Yeah. And I, I, that was a big thing for, for me was um, we would get into arguments. And we didn't get into a lot of arguments, but we would get into these arguments. And it would be um, her talking and then I wouldn't say anything. Yeah. And then that frustrates the shit out of her. You know, as it would any normal person, um, but especially women, and this isn't a jab on women or anything, but women are very um, emotionally <clears throat> focused. Yeah. And I don't mean that in a bad way whatsoever, um, because that's balanced for us men that tend not to show as much emotion. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. That's how we're built. Um, yeah. Exactly. That is. Or that's that's how society is, has, has built us. Right. You know, men shouldn't show emotion. Men shouldn't cry men shouldn't do this yeah man yeah you know what i mean yeah you're right um Absolutely. and and so i feel like that's definitely a big reason why um most of us guys are emotionally stunted you know we can only grasp the concept of emotion so much but we can't really express it the right way um but i digress um we would get in these little arguments and i would just sit there and even though I wouldn't express what I was saying, I would be thinking. I'd be like, I need to make sure that my emotions don't come off the wrong way so yeah. that it doesn't further complicate the situation. And had I just shared that, had it been like, look, babe, the only reason that I don't say anything is because I'm picking my words carefully because if I get frustrated or anything in, in the heat of the emotion or the heat of the conversation, I don't want it to have consequences later on. Yeah. You don't want to make it a bigger problem. Than exactly. Was. Because I can get upset and just snap. Dude. And that's the and, thing. Too, too many people like, like react off of emotion and it's, exactly. and I get it, bro. It's fucking hard because like when you're boiling, bro, like it's easy to be like, just fuck you, you know, like, but at exactly. the same time, you're just like, you got to like dial it back a little bit. Think yep. and analytically think about the issue. You know? And that's that's what I've always done. And now that I've explained that to her, now that I say, hey, I'm not silent to be spiteful. I'm not silent to be an asshole and, yeah. and just act like I'm ignoring you. I'm being silent to methodically think about the situation and present you with a logical answer afterwards. Yeah. That way it's not, you know, you saying, why didn't you do this? And me being like, because I didn't fucking want to. That's why. It's me saying, oh, because, you know, I forgot or you know i yeah. had other things that took precedence over this or you know yeah i'm, it, I'm sorry yeah the one the, the words that are the hardest to say i'm sorry suck it up that my pride. mind but i'm more than happy to do it now. no i feel that man i, I think that you know it, it's all about sucking up your pride when it comes to that shit you know you that's what we we're to. talking about man like it, it, it's really like it really isn't that big a deal, you know. Like being like making a genuine apology is it, it's a big deal. But for some it, people, it is. It's, but it's a lot harder than you think. It is. It's a lot harder than than people give it credit for. Right. Man, I, I don't know. I just like I feel like I'm the I'm the one that apologizes. I know I am too. More. I'm the first to apologize. Yeah. I'm definitely when it comes to conflict. I'm the first to try to resolve it. But see, I, I get in my, my head too much. And I'm like, why the fuck am I always apologizing? Is it me? Am I fucking up? Like, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, or is it? Is it the other person? Like, and they just, they're more stubborn than I am. You and know what see, I'm saying? I've, I've been there before. <coughs> I would rather be the one that says I'm sorry and keep the peace. Yeah. Than be, than be stubborn and prideful and have this shit just continue to build up. I'd rather me say, hey, look, 
I'm sorry that it got to the way that it got. But, um, look, I didn't mean for it to get that way. Let's resolve it now and let's just move past it. Yeah, man. No, and I, I get it. You know, like, in, in conflict is inevitable in a relationship. We know that. Like, it's going to fucking yeah. happen regardless exactly. of who you are. Like, Absolutely. you can have the perfect relationship, which does not fucking exist ever. No. But if, you, if you're not arguing... It's not perfect yeah. because you're not you're not communicating. You're it's not voicing weird. your frustrations. Yeah. Absolutely, and uh, you know I think too many people give up on on and react off of emotion, right? And then they end up like, oh fuck, like what? Why did I? Why did this escalate to this point? You know, um, but for me personally, like you know, I I I want to take a step back from the dating scene. Um, I think that our dating pool is kind of fucked. It, to, to be honest, like I think you know people like the sexual aspects of thing, but things, but they don't they don't take time to like realize like hey like yeah you jump you jump in this relationship and you're like do i actually like this person you feel me no i feel you 100 yeah, percent. And, and that's that's the thing with with our generation right now we have all these dating apps and shit yeah man it's just um, the fuck it's literally just exactly the fuck. that was that was how i learned yeah dude, because i when when tinder first came out i'm taking it back to like 2012 2013 was it that tinder? long ago was yes, that dude. Long ago, huh? dude. That was almost when I graduated. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Tinder, Tinder came out, and I can remember like everybody else that was single, we hopped <coughs> on it. And at first, people were trying to date. Yeah. But fast forward a year or two later, then it's like, let me see your butthole. <laughs> exactly, dude. People are just trying to fuck, and I'm yeah. just like, I was still on it, and people were. You know, I was genuinely trying to communicate with people and, and take people on dates and stuff. And they'd be like, yeah, I just want to fuck. And I'm just like, uh, it's yeah, that's, that's it's a no, that's a no. I genuinely want to know somebody. Yeah. I don't and like, so, I don't like one night stands, bro. It's just, no. dude, all right, you gotta yeah. like, here, here's factors that I always try to take in. STDs are fucking terrifying, right? STDs are fucking like they, they're so scary I, i'm scared of all of them like i um, wouldn't know i i just don't i don't i don't want to i don't want to like be in that you know like that's what the, no like, i feel that that's what like that's why the dating pool scares me obviously pregnancy too especially from somebody you have no idea who like who that is right one night stands are not fun because you never know like condoms aren't 100 percent, bro you know yeah and they could always lie about the birth control yeah and that's a that's a big thing too people like yeah. they'll trap your ass yep just trap. like when wyatt comes to town Oh shit! He thinks I'm on birth. Uh, uh, what? I told him I was on birth control on this trip. <laughs> hey, I, I, my pullout game non-existent, dog. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man, I, I fucking like you know. I really just like. I think as I'm growing older, I see a lot of the things that in the relationships that I, I've, I have grown from. I've humbled myself quite a bit, and that shit's humbled me. You know, I think uh, I've taken quite a bit of a toll, and then had enough time to analyze the way I feel and there's still some things that like you know the why the reason why I'm moving back to Texas it's not only just to to like you know like there's opportunity there and then I'll obviously grow on the podcast even more but at the same time it's like you know really I just want to rest my soul I like that's, that's literally what I want man I just kind of want to like take a breath and just I've been living fast too long man I just need to like calm my ass down get what I need to done and uh, really focus on me, you know, and just like my family and friends. That's really what I want. And uh, I had to remind myself of that, you know. Um, but, you know, I'm still like, you know, they say they say like that that, that one person will come around, you know, um, when you least expect it. But per- was, per- did, yeah. did you notice how he looked at me, too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, yeah. I mean, Justin gets some sloppy toppy, dog. Hell, yeah. That's my dog. <laughs> <laughs> <Don't> pull, <baby. laughs> but, yeah, no, nah, man. I, I just, like, you know, it, it's good to just, like, like you know, joke around like we do and just, like, talk and have a genuine conversation. And really, like, like that's all I need. Because, like, honestly, I don't think I, – I personally don't think that there's someone built for me because I'm – like, I'm – very all over the place like i'm like one minute i'm doing this the next minute i'm doing this you know and here's here's what i'm gonna say to you all right and just you can take it for what you want or yeah. anything um but i'm just gonna piggyback off of what you said as far as waiting for the right one to come around <coughs> yeah that is exactly how my love story came to be fair enough i 
Never in a million years did I ever think that my wife was going to want to date me. Yeah. She thought I was a douchebag. She thought I was into myself. She thought... You are. You're all those things. I'm not, though. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, but being a bodybuilder and everything, yeah. I, could, I could see how she could see that. You know, bodybuilding is a very selfish sport. It's very... You are very into yourself because you have to be. Yeah. That's the only way that you get good. Yeah. Um. But... I never thought that she would ever want to date me. Yeah. And so I thought we were just going to be best friends. So, you know, I'm trying to find a girlfriend or whatever. I'm trying to find somebody to get into a relationship with. Yeah. Lo and behold, after failed, you know, relationships or or failed trials. Yeah. um, We get together somehow. I don't even know how the fuck it happened <laughs> just, to be honest with you dude boom. it was literally best friends one day hey do you want to go see a movie hey do you want to go to dinner and then the rest is history six years later i'm gonna go ahead and uh, document that real quick <laughs> yeah, hey, let's take some notes <laughs> take hey, some notes my well, I'm, pen. I'm literally just saying like don't because i we weren't even trying to get together that's the that's the part that blows my mind yeah it was the most unexpected best thing of my life and that's what i'm saying is the right one will come yeah when you least inspect it least expect it yeah but but you have to realize something you can't um you can't go out searching yeah i didn't you gotta you gotta let it happen organically just like conversations that we have that's too much work already it is (laughs) yeah i can't do that you know you let it happen organically, you know, you're going to end up catching people's vibes. We're, we're energy readers, dude. That's what we do. Yeah. We're, we're able to read people very well. So we know who's into us and we know who's not. Yeah. But read that energy, figure out who it is, get to know that person, not on a romantic level, but on just a, a normal person level, a normal person, spiritual, friendly level and see where it goes. You don't have to be like, I want to take you out or I want to fuck you or whatever. Just be like, I enjoy the shit out of the conversations that we have. Because that's what me and my wife used to do before we got together, dude. Yeah. We'd go to Starbucks for like four hours and just talk. Yeah, no, that's cool, man. I, I mean, that that's great. Like, you know, I, I, I like the aspect that you like her personality, right? But I'm not going to put aside, like, um, visually, like, like being like, like, hey, I'm going to Oh, God, no. That, yo. No. I can't, I can't not like, I can't like you have, you could have the coolest personality in the world, you know, but that doesn't mean I'm like sexually attracted to you. And by sexually, I mean like, Hey, like there could be look, a potential, look, look. like, like long term. you know, I and didn't like, say that. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was very much attracted to my wife. Yeah. The first moment I saw her, I was just like, but I had to play it off right because I could tell that she wasn't <laughs> exactly. attracted. I exactly. could tell she wasn't attracted to me. The, dude. The, subli- like, the subliminal messages, you know, like, like, exactly. Hey, you know, like, I was like, damn she's really fucking hot yeah and you know i was like i'm in shape she might fucking think i'm hot too <laughs> nah man the muscles weren't for her the muscles weren't for her You're like damn what do i have to do plastic exactly. surgery <laughs> dude you should nah, know dude. it's all about the dad bod yeah. it, no i swear to god dude ever since i stopped going to the gym and i started to lose a little bit more muscle mass and Gain a little bit more fluff. Oh, shut the fuck up. You still look good. I'm compared compared to what I used to look like. Yeah, I know. A little bit more fluff. She'll see me take my shirt <laughs> off or whatever. She'll be like, damn, babe, you looking like a snack. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, ooh, I'm looking like a snack. I'm looking like a you're like, fucking you're like, that man, you're like winky. That, she's like, that man looks like he pays his bills. Hell yeah. <laughs> like That, that man looks like he can cook me a full course <laughs> meal. Hell yeah. Oh, and she knows I can. I, I do the cooking in the household. Oh, absolutely. And that's what dad bod, dad, dad bods, dad bods bring off. No, like, I, like that's what I heard from a girl. She was like, like, <laughs> like when I see a dad bod, it looks like, it's like, oh, that man pays his bills. He's going to treat me right and feed me good. You know, <laughs> and I was like, hell yeah, those are good things. Right. But I, was oh, like, yeah. I can't let myself like, I, like, no offense, dad. I know you've been working on that keg for a while, man. You know, he got that, that beer belly, but he looks good now. He's lost a lot of weight, but still, Dude, I'm not going to let myself go. Like, like I can't, I can't personally. My See, dad don't give don't, a fuck about working out though. That's the thing. I don't think I can get like that though. And I don't mean that to sound like cocky or conceited or anything, but I look at my dad 
Yeah. This man sits around, eats fucking Pop Tarts and chicken nuggets and drinks Diet Pepsi all day, <laughs> yeah. and fucking chills with his dogs. Yeah, man. And doesn't work out whatsoever. Yeah. Yet the man looks. Dude looks fucking good. Yeah, still like they have like I look at him. I look at him. I'm like, Dad, you're 51 years old. How the fuck are you looking like this, living the way that you do? Yo, you know what's so fucking funny that you say that, right? So, what's up? Um, my dad, like, you know, he's got the dad bod, obviously, and he like he's just goofy as fuck. Like, but I love him, man. He's funny as fuck, and dude, girls still hit on him all the time. And I don't understand. Like I see it. Like every time we go out, they're like, like some lady will come up to him and like, like be super like touchy and shit. And my mom like comments on it too. Like she's like, what the hell? Like she'll start laughing. But it's funny as fuck because my dad doesn't even fucking realize it. Like he's like a little kid playing in fucking like the ball pit at McDonald's. Like <laughs> this man doesn't give a fuck. But like he was talking to me at one time. There was this like lady at the grocery store, and she would always like want to kiss him on the mouth. Like, she was an old fucking lady. What, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. And, like, he was like, what the fuck? Like, he would always, like, turn his face, and she would, like, nah. Like, redirect that bitch right back. You're gonna fucking kiss me. <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking funny. And my dad's like, yo, what the fuck is that? Like, he's like, that's weird. Like, I don't like that shit. But it's just so fucking funny, man. But, uh, yeah, dude, dads don't, like, dads don't give a fuck, and they're still, they're still doing good. Like, they're all right. They're happy. And yeah. I'm trying to find out the secret behind that. So that's why you got to listen to your parents, I guess. Like, I mean, fuck. Like, where's the sec- the secret behind being as happy as you are? You know? You want to know why? Why? Because you have a dad bod for a reason. Hell yeah. You are a dad. No, you are a dad. And that is your that is your pushing forward every single day. Oof. Nobody else matters. <laughs> I don't want to be a dad right now. Oh, I'm going to make you a dad. Fair enough. I already did. Yes, I- Ooh. Hell yeah, <laughs> Child Justin. Did you things. did you call him daddy? Two times. Ooh. Two times. What was that? Two, song? <laughs> Two times. Three times in a row. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Right. Three times in a row. I gotta <laughs> open it up. Another one. All right. Fair enough. We need to get some more too. Yeah, I need one too. But all right. Pineapple yeah, ginger. Pineapps ginger. Nice. Oh, that was a nice. That was a nice little. That was crispy. This one smells good, my dude. It's it it actually smells better than the topo. Oh, this strawberry tastes like um, suntan lotion. <laughs> the snozberries taste like snozberries. Yo, this tastes like snozberry lotion, bro. Like I can't even. It's it fucking nasty. <laughs> Yo, have you tried it? Was it no, I had the blackberry. The oh, blackberry okay. Was good. This one smell. This one actually smells like Hawaii's asshole. What's this one? Pop smoke? Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's see how it tastes. Cheers, ladies. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh, with your tooth? I didn't. I, don't, I bit my fingernails off. All right. Fuck you guys. All right. Cheers. Cheers. You fucks. Cheers. 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 All right. <sighs> Yo, I actually hate when people do that. They're like... <sighs> Dude, I hate it too. Like, that's... I did it into the microphone just for, like, sounds, but... Yeah. Uh, not bad. I this one so. is actually a lot better than the peach berry. Yeah. What, it sounded it? like it would be, honestly. What flavor is that again? Pineapple ginger. Yeah, so I got pineapple too. This one's pretty good. I think oh I've my, had this one before. Oh my god, we're twins. OG mango. White That's weird. I didn't ones. know twins fucked each other. Other than like Pornhub. Well, I mean, <sighs> if we moved to Alabama. Oh, hey. Chill, step bro. Step, step bro. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> step bro. Nope, step bro, I'm stuck. <laughs> step bro, I slammed my dick in the door. Help. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right, I guess, I guess we're going off topic. Yeah, no, Absolutely. anyway. Yeah, that's, what we, do that's what we do. It is, it is what we do. That's literally the entire show. Yeah. Oh, this is this is still off topic, but I just want to share it with our listeners, if that's okay. No, it's not okay. Absolutely. Let's do goddamn bad. <laughs> Gotta shut the fuck up. All right. Anyways, so this is just a little tidbit of information that I've kind of kept. Uh, I've told Wyatt, but I haven't told anybody else. We have a venue for the meet and greet when Wyatt comes to town. We have a menu. We have a venue. We have a menu. So we have a men- <laughs> We have a venue menu. Menu Chex- menu. Chex mix, pretzels, um, white claw, white claws, w- white, white claws. claws. <laughs> yeah, white claws are going to be the official drink of the night. So Let's... if you're not carrying a white claw, we know that you're. Uh, 
Yeah, you're not cool. Too many people slam seltzers, bro. But honestly, you know what? You're saving I used so many. To. You're saving so much calories, honestly. Like while anyway. you're drinking. Anyway, go ahead, Rob. Jesus Sorry. Christ, man, I'm burping. <clears throat> so right, and anyway, you're coughing, so venue. My buddy Austin Schlatter. Austin, this one's for you, dude. Uh, just just opened up his own bar in Ziblo. Fuck yeah. Uh, it's called Ernie's off of Main Street. Um, dude, we went and checked out the soft opening. The bar is amazing. Really? It's, dude. I saw the video for it. Yeah, the it video for really it, yeah. Really in like in my awesome. story or... <coughs> huh? Yeah, no, the video is fucking awesome. Like that, that kind of showcases it a little bit. We'll have to share but, it. On the, we'll have to share it on our page. Yeah, I'm gonna share it for sure. Yeah. Um, but the atmosphere is totally what you want for the bar. Yeah. It, it's got a great inside. Uh, it's got all this room outside. It's got cornhole. It's got food trucks. It's got um, you know the the bar system where they can put the glass on and the beer comes up from the top. Hell yeah. Or from the bottom, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Pay by the ounce, kind of. Yeah, that's that's what it is, dude. And it's the coolest shit in the world. That's it's, fucking it's awesome. It's a very classy, chill hangout spot. Oh yeah. I, I could definitely see myself going here for like happy hour, yeah, or just going there it. to hang out yeah. with friends and having a good time. But I met him. <laughs> Jesus. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we had a conversation, and I said, "Hey man, look, we're looking for a venue to do a meet and greet." Um, obviously the goal here is to help out as many people as we can. If we do the meet and greet here, that's going to be business for you and, and absolutely and your business. Absolutely. And we, and that's what we want. We want to support small business. Yeah. And he was like, immediately, he was like, dude, I'm so fucking down. Yeah, man. You know? I mean, it's good marketing and, and people are going to come there and be like, what the fuck's Ernie's? Right. And then exactly. they go there and they're gonna be like, yo, I fucking love Ernie's. Let's go to Ernie's. And that's Continue the thing too. But here's, here's, exactly. here's the other thing. People are obviously if we get a decent crowd going over yeah. there for us, it's going to create curiosity of why is there a crowd over in that corner? Exactly. With these guys around. And that's gonna be like, hey, what is this for? This is Ambitious Scumbags, the podcast. Yeah. What is that? Check us out on iTunes, check us out on Spotify, check us out on YouTube. Yeah. And that's how we gain more listeners and Absolutely. followers and shit like that. Absolutely. Um but so I had the talk with Austin. He's super excited for it. Uh, we're gonna have to get into a group chat and talk out logistics, um, but we're gonna have him on the show. Yeah, uh, because I want to know how he Operates. came to start the. Yeah. How, well, how how he came to wanting to start the bar. Yeah. And you know the trials and tribulations that he went through, and just everything in between i want to know his thought process on on starting a small business especially absolutely. now yeah absolutely man uh austin uh you know this is me talking to you personally um i don't know if we've met or not uh your name sounds super familiar to me uh but if i if we haven't man i'm 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 very excited to meet you and thank you for letting us do that um but if we have met and i'm being just a fucking asshole that doesn't remember names i apologize but uh it's still like you know it'll be good to reconnect if you have stories to tell about me anyway um, but I am a genuine guy. Rob is, and so is Justin. And we want to bring a good crowd to you that likes to have fun, that is responsible, and that will be there and uh, make your bar known a little bit better too. Because we'll be advertising it quite a bit and helping our buddies out personally. So, and I'm all about establishing personal relationships as, as well as, as professional. Yep. You know. So, um, you know, whatever we can do for you, let us know, uh, and uh, we'll we'll get your shit out there. Um, and then we hope that you can do the same for us. So again, Austin, thank you very much, brother. I'm yeah, saying, based you, off of that video that I saw, like yeah. I'm super excited to go back home and just go there personally. Even oh yeah, like, dude. Despite the yeah. meet and greet, like it looked yeah, like no. a fun time. I I definitely recommend whenever Wyatt gets here that we all the three of us go over there and check it out. I mean, obviously, I've already been there. I know that's a stand up place, but I want you guys to have that same feeling as well. If you guys don't then that's something we can talk about but i i almost 100 percent guarantee that you will the place it, is fucking yeah. amazing if it's a new it's a if it's a new bar i'm obviously down to check it out like in main yeah. street's got like like they've grown so much and it, i like what they did with it you know they have like old main old main's pretty cool like that's where everybody meets up and what's that other one that uh is bar, house. bar house bar house is pretty cool uh my, bar, my buddy josh Reedus, uh he was a bartender there man fucking awesome guy um you know he, like i always tip him very well or try to at least and then 
uh, you know, he's just like, he's been one of my friends forever, man. Just super down to earth, humble. I met his mom and I think his like stepdad or something like that. But dude, great, great. Like, like there's a lot of competition there because it's just, you have so many great people around, around the area. And so, you know what? I think that Ernie's is going to probably end up being top, being top. I yeah. don't want to say that. And, and, and I, but I, based on the clientele that I saw in there that night, just on the soft opening. Yeah. It's going to be one of the best known bars in, in Ciblo and shirts. But you know what? Here's the thing. Competition makes businesses thrive exactly. all the time, all the time. So for them to have even more, like, you know, there's more ideas that are going to be growing from each of these bars to be like, Hey, these are the top spots to hang out. What Texas, what y'all close at two, right? Yeah. Ciblo yeah. is 12. I believe. Nope. Nope. Ciblo, Ciblo is no. up to, Damn. I believe. Me, uh, one or two o'clock old main old main clip does close at 12 because last time i was there they did they, they did close i believe they boosted it up really yeah well, at least on the weekends at least yeah. on the weekends yeah so and here's the thing here's the thing about texas that i didn't like so um like i get people work monday through friday you know sometimes you have events that you want to do with your buddies right and you know i think that that bars do need to operate on like monday through friday regardless or monday through sunday they really need to because they do make most of their money on uh, saturday and sunday and i don't know the dilemma causing um their business just to be open on that blue bonnet for example all right so is blue bonnet open monday for monday through friday it's not it's open friday through sunday yeah that's weird right so like like i i think that that there needs to be like and i want to understand like if i could personally talk to them i'd, I'd want to understand like why they couldn't do that and then to possibly help them out like regarding like hey let's would you would you be interested in in opening up Monday through Sunday? Because this gives people more opportunity to go do something as well. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's here's good. the thing. Here's the thing with Blue Bonnet. <coughs> they that? are open technically. Yeah. But it's not the the bar and the dance floor. Yeah. It's they have multiple restaurants inside of Blue Bonnet. Oh really? And so, yeah. Kind of like speak on that. A lot of places, even in downtown <coughs> San Antonio, aren't open Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday. Really, it's a lot yeah. of different places. It's, it's normally it's normally Thursday through Sunday. So they they do thirsty Thursdays. They do Friday, Saturday, Sunday to get everyone for the weekend and whatnot. Fair enough. Um, but yeah, a lot of places are closed up until Wednesday, man. That's mm -hmm. wild, man. That, yeah. Weird. See, I didn't know that. And you know, guys. Um, also, what we'd like to know, uh, for our viewers and listeners. Um, places to go around San Antonio, you know, like that, that's a great topic to talk about. Like, uh, I, w I want feedback from like, Hey, like check this place out. Cause you know, San Antonio is a huge city already. So it's like new brothels and Austin as well. It's we'll be, we'll be covering that whole fucking place. It's going to be Austin all the way to uh, San Antonio. And then even the outskirt cities, you know, uh, we're going to be making content out there, uh, visiting like different people and listeners from, uh, where we're at, let, let y'all know where we're going to be at. Um, that way you can come out and be like, Hey, yo, like I'm here too. Like, let's meet up. Let's, let's talk, you know, but we want to know, um, basically what, what y'all, uh, like to do. Like if there's any hidden gems, you know, that we don't fucking know about water, like anything with water or, um, you know, like obviously alcohol, like if there's any, like, you know, bars and shit, let us know, man, we'll come fucking party with you, hang out and talk shit. Like, um, good shit, not bad shit. But hey, we'll talk good shit. A little then, bit of both. Yeah, a little bit. You of know, both. you know what I want to do? Just What's based up? on here. What? I want to do some restaurant reviews. Yeah. Fuck it. Yeah, man. Like some food reviews. <laughs> you know, like obviously Eric's Tacos. Justin, you ever been to Eric's Tacos? I'm gonna be honest with you. I like West Ave a little bit more. I Ooh. love Eric's, but <laughs> West Ave across the street is never Listen. as busy and is just as good. I've never been, so I don't know. Can I take you on a date? <sighs> Wyatt, are you going to be jealous if he takes me out on a date? As long as like, I'm watching the corner, I'm cool with that. <laughs> <laughs> then like, yes, you can take me out on a date to go get some tacos. I'm never going to turn that shit down. It's a, it's a taco place, right? So, I mean, yeah. I'll fucking just eat chips and salsa in the corner and... Just watch you guys have a good time, you know. Watch us, watch, watch him feed me tacos. Hell yeah, put a paper bag over my head or something, you know. That works. You don't even know I'm there. <laughs> Perfect, that works. Just dick. draw no, a smiley I'm, face on that bag. Just dick yeah. out. <laughs> I'm so, salsa. dude, I'm so down. Like, we've already talked about it on here before. Street tacos, all day, every day. Oh, hell but, yeah. I still gotta take you to go get all you can eat sushi. Hey bro, you, you better change my mind about that shit. Like, I, mean, I am, bro. Uh, so, like, I, I'll take... Tacos over sushi. 
Tacos over sushi? It depends on the sushi. Honestly. It depends on the depends sushi. On the sushi. Oh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When I go get tacos, I spend about 20 bucks. Easily. I'm not that full afterwards. I'm, like, comfortable, which is okay. But when I go do all-you-can-eat sushi and I spend 20 bucks, you need to you need to eat more tacos. Bro, I eat a fuck ton. Of, I guarantee I can eat more tacos than you. Oh, say less. Taco bro, eating comp? It's own, brother. You don't you don't want to go up against me for any kind of eating competition. Oh yeah? You will lose. What about eating Justin's butt? You will lose that too. <laughs> I just want to see what both of your mouths do. Hell That's yeah. It. He's like, what's that mouth do? What that mouth do? <laughs> So if y'all didn't see, Rob made a uh, an ass eating <laughs> face. He was in ass eating mode. <laughs> now me and Wyatt are both rather. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, my yes, legs are crossed. I don't know if I do. My dad watches the YouTube video. Oh, with this I bet. Fucking shit. He probably fucking loves it too. I know he <laughs> Dude, does. He doesn't. He doesn't listen to it. He fucking watches it. So he's gonna see this shit. and He's gonna be like, Yo, what the fuck? Yeah, but I knew my son was a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. No, he can be laughing his ass off. I already fucking will. Up. My my wife does the same thing though. She well, watches it too. Well, who do your parents get their sense of humor from though? You know what I'm saying? Who do my parents uh, get wait, their sense of humor? Who do you get your par- your sense of humor from? My fucking part? dad. Yeah, exactly. I so that man is gonna be yeah, laughing his fucking ass off. Yeah, my I'm dad saying. I get my sense of humor from. My 100%. mom my mom's a saint. Yeah. We don't we don't say anything bad about my mother because Hell she's no. a saint. We ain't talking about no moms. <laughs> Hey, but Jimmy, his dad, bro, oh, man, he'd be saying some off-the-wall shit, and I'd be laughing my fucking ass off, bro. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Wild. Jimmy, Jimmy is a trip. Yeah, Jimmy Wild. <laughs> but, yeah, so was Gary. Gary, Gary, Gary's something else, man. He, he, this man, he, like, I remember one, 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 one fucking New Year's, this man had a little too much to drink. And it's hard for my dad to have a little too much to drink. This man shot fireworks out of his ass. <laughs> what know? the fuck? Yeah, he did. I was like, I was laughing so fucking hard, dude. He was riding like a, what is it? The fucking, those Roman candles and like oh, bottle rockets. Shit. This man was, had it on a, like he was Harry Potter on a fucking broomstick, man. This man, <laughs> he was like, Poom! and they just see a fucking firework fly out of his ass, bro. I was like, oh Did my you God. just say Harry Potter? Yeah, Harry Potter. Don't even fucking start with me, Justin. What? What? We'll, we we'll show you one day. I have, yeah. We're gonna have to show it to you. We can't. We can't explain it. You have to see it. Don't fucking ask about Harry Potter and, and me. All right. <laughs> I, and, and and I know a lot of people I, I went to school with. They, They're well, gonna no. understand it. You know what? Fuck this. You know, I'm just gonna explain it. I'm gonna explain it, right? Explain it. Gosh damn it! Like I knew this day was gonna come. Thank you, Justin, for for doing Bro, this. I'm not gonna. You said it, not me. I, I I said my dad was riding a broomstick like Harry Potter. You said, oh, you and Harry Potter. So we had to insinuate some bullshit and now explain it. All right. All right. Is that anyway. Ryan? Huh? Was that Ryan? No, that was me coughing. Oh. <clears throat> but I was being weird about it. Anyway, so uh, when I was what sixth grade. I had little round Harry Potter glasses, and I looked like Harry Potter. And, is that fucking funny, Justin? <laughs> Splitting image. Oh, my God. Anyway, so it gets worse. Just shut the fuck up, Justin. <laughs> so uh, my mom, my mom, my mom that I love so much. Sweet old Your mom's a sweet lady. Oh, she's such a sweet lady. Absolutely. But I resent her for doing this to me. She put me in uh, Harry Potter contests, and I fucking won. I was in the fucking newspaper, bro. <laughs> Shut San, the fuck up. I need San, to see an article. San Antonio newspaper. No, you weren't. Yeah, 100%. Everybody fucking saw that. Everyone. I'm, I'm going to ask your mama. You know you know what we're friends on Facebook, right? Hey, man, you can ask her, and she will tell you a whole fucking story. I think she's got a she's got a whole like uh, picture, like a fucking frame, a picture, like a poster picture frame. With, like, a fuck ton of pictures in there. All right, so this is what I'm going to need you to do, because we're going to post this on the Instagram. I'm going to need you to tell your mama to take a picture of you in the Harry Potter uh, lookalike, and we're posting that shit. Dear God. I honestly thought this was Daniel Radcliffe right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I hate my life. 
Uh, you know what? Moms always seem to be doing some shit like that, though. Oh, am I right? I know. She's super proud of that shit, too. And I'm like, Mom, let it go. <laughs> you let know, go. this isn't about me, but this is about my sister. My mom... So, my sister was in... Uh, shit, like the fourth grade, maybe? Third or fourth grade. And they were doing this fucking, like, Creatures Under the Sea uh, theme or whatever to where... They had to come as a creature. They had to come as like a, a sea creature. Yeah. Well, my sister somehow got fucking needlefish. <laughs> okay. That's and so my mom, my mom was like, "All right, baby, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you the uh, the costume." My sister looked like she was a fucking member of the clan. <laughs> and there is picture evidence for this. My sister looked like she could have been the fucking. Like Ku Klux Klan wizard or whatever the fuck they call it. the Grand Wizard, the Grand Wizard, whatever the fuck they call it, dude. But seriously, pointy fucking hat, all white. I'm like, she Mom. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. She didn't see anything wrong with it until about ten years later, <laughs> where like, we were looking oh. through pictures, and my sister goes, oh. "Mom." You made me look like a member of the clan. She goes, "No, I didn't." Then she looked. She said, "Oh shit." <laughs> That's so Dude, fucking we, funny. We man. all have a Halloween story like that. Like, my mom, personally, growing up, I loved Monsters Incorporated. Monsters Inc., shout out one time. That was my favorite. One time. Growing up. I really wanted to be Mike Wazowski. <laughs> Mike Wazowski! Yes, dude. So, <clears throat> she bought me this costume, and it's like the most circular thing you'll ever see in your life. It had hands coming out of the side, feet on the bottom. <laughs> But a big hole where his eyeball is. That's where my face was supposed to be. So my face was painted as an eyeball. That's what I was for Halloween. Was Mike Wazowski. Did you look, Did like it a, look good? Did you look like a semen? Dude, I was sexy. <laughs> Yo, Wyatt, if it makes you feel any better, dude, when I was in the second grade, I went as, uh, as Harry Potter for Halloween. Well, I'm glad that people embrace that. Me, personally... Like, Harry Potter is cool, like, the movies are good and shit, but I'm not a fucking fan, you know? Oh, I'm a big fan. Do not I'm slander, a... Harry. Hey, yeah, I'm don't not. slander, don't slander. Hey, Justin, what's your house, bro? I'm Gryffindor, I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter, everything he stands for. But did, but did you actually take the test? No, what test? There's a test. Yeah, I'm slithering, because I'll be slithering to both y'all's butts later. <laughs> That was clever. I'm not even gonna lie. That was clever. That was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, but do y'all like jalapenos? Absolutely. I'm not gonna answer that. I know you do, Justin, because I'm be jalapeno your ass. <laughs> See, that's why I didn't fucking answer that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Anyway though. All right. Anyway though. Back on top. I, by the way, I am a Gryffindor for anybody that wondered. Um, <clears throat> but back on the topic at hand, relationships, guys. We were talking about relationships. I think we were doing a really good job. We were, and you know what? Let me, let me speak a little bit on it. Yeah, yeah mine got hot ahead, though. From my my perspective, I think self accountability, accountability, excuse me, yeah. is a really really big thing, because you can mess up, right? Everybody's gonna mess up, regardless if it's the biggest thing or the smallest thing. But if you don't step up to the plate, own that shit, and try to overcome anything that you messed up, you're not doing it right, and right. that goes back to being prideful. Yeah. Accepting the fact that, you know, man, I really, really did mess up. But yeah. your partner also needs to reflect, like, oh, my God, he is doing what he can. Yeah. But <clears throat> certain situations, they don't let that go. So then going back on that topic, like, what do you guys think would be, like, a way to overcome that? Like, yeah. you're doing everything in your nature to overcome that situation, but it never leaves you. Yeah. That's no, not, my question to both of you. No, and I and I get that, man. Like I know, fuck. That, that that's a hard. That's a good question, but it's just it's like, Deep. yeah, it's hard to speak on. So, you talk. You're talking about overcoming like uh, adversity. Yeah. yeah like, so just say, this, for instance, like you know, you're messing up something up, and <coughs> you're telling her like, you know, hey, I'm willing to fix this. I'm willing to do this for myself. Do this for us to overcome it. Yeah. And then you're doing everything in your nature to overcome it, but something happens. You get into a argument, and boom, you're right back to what you're overcoming. Yeah, 
has so, nothing to do with the situation. So, you know, here, Justin, do me a favor real quick. Yep. Speak, speak, say that question one more time, but into the mic. <clears throat> Just so everybody so, else can hear. Okay. So yeah. basically you're you doing go. what you can to overcome a situation, but yeah. one small argument comes back and basically everything you were trying to overcome. Yeah comes back to bite you in a later argument so what what in that situation are you so you're talking about you're talking about like uh, a significant other holding on to a grudge right essentially yeah yeah, essentially so like it's it's about like i mean there's not much you can do about that that that's that's basically them that in what they have to battle you know uh, i've been there um to where like you you see something you don't like but it's always in the back of your head right and that would make you not want to pursue certain things anymore in me as a prideful person i understand that that's shit i have to grow on that's why i want to take a break from the 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 scene for a bit that way i can just kind of grow and like understand myself a little more um but you know people women well i will say women out of um like you know men i don't know many men that hold grudges and this is from my personal experience you know like we can get in a fight we can just fucking beat the shit out of each other yet we can squash it we can squash it later on, you know? Best We'll shake hands and buy each other a beer afterwards. Yeah. And, you know, like, we can come to, like, our differences and then, like, you know, see, you know, how, how to, we can talk after everything is, like, conflicted, you know? Um, but the biggest thing is um, women, women are different from us, you know? They're very different, and I don't know how they operate because I'm not, I'm not a woman. Rob is, so, like, you might get a better, like, you know, like, description on them, but. Oh. Like, <laughs> oh. Just kidding, honey. But anyway, are you still salty? No, nah, man, I don't hold grudges because I'm a dude. <laughs> you say sexy or salty? Both. Both. Yeah, he is sexy. But I'm de- I'm flavorful. He's salty. Let me trust figure me. out how you're salty. But anyway, no, like I think it, I think it's just that he's stupid. <laughs> anyway, continue, like, Wyatt. Yeah, man, I, I I think that you know it's harder for women, like you said, Rob, earlier. Like you know, women are more, more emotional, and than we are. You know, so they take things to heart and things that we think are as bullshit, they think is serious. They and I'm, I'm glad you say that, too, because that's actually what I wanted to talk about. Answering Justin's question is when it comes to, you know, being in arguments and then having somebody having your significant other bring up something yeah. that happened in the past. Well, yes, it sucks. And you feel like they're just beating a dead horse. You have to understand it from their perspective. The reason that they're bringing that up is because it hurt them. Yeah. yeah. There's a reason behind it. There's a reason be- that they're bringing it up. It's because they it hurt them, and whatever the reason for the argument, they feel that hurt again. Yeah. It could be minuscule. It could be, you know, major. But something triggered that same feeling to where it's in their mind now. Yeah. And so... Again, we have to suck up our pride and be respectful of that, of uh, and not take it to heart. Yeah, you know, um, just be understanding and watch what the fuck you say. I yeah. cannot stress that enough. And it could just, you know, I know a lot of people are going to be like, "Man, that just sounds like you're being a little bitch and not saying what you need to say and then not talking back to your lady." It's not being a little bitch, dude. It's it's honestly just being respectful and and mindful of your significant other's feelings you know one thing yeah and i'm glad you brought that up like one thing that you have to understand is like the way you talk to your woman is is a reflection up on you right you have to yeah absolutely so don't like if you and like our oh my god dude I, i remember being in high school and like dudes would show like pictures of the girlfriends like nudes and shit like that and i'm like yo dude what the fuck are you doing like bro like 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 stop Respect that. yeah bro like you're, that that's yours why do exactly. you want everybody else to see that shit you know what i'm saying like like i, I don't understand that like uh, like you know they they trust you enough to like like send that shit to you and then you're gonna fuck it. and guys still do that to this day bro oh yeah i'm like, like bro you, you can't don't show me that shit like that no. is between you and her you know exactly what I'm that that is something like, that she entrusted you with you need to respect that trust respect your girl bro and, and exactly bro. You know, you, you're being uh, essentially dishonest to her yeah. by showing that shit around. That that is a a 
special thing between the two of you. Yeah, and and, and it, no, we're not we're not simping. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is like. Yo, there, there comes there comes a point where like if you see this, there's like a fucking future with this woman, and you you like you really like her. Don't that's not for your boys. That is between no. you and her. No, you know what I'm saying. The situation, or you know, exactly, or you and him, or like who whoever, vice versa, both genders. You know, we ref- yeah. reflect on all of them. But anyway, because God forbid that somebody fucking says something to her, you know, like, oh hey, saw your tits, nice. How do you think that's gonna make her fucking feel at exactly. the end of the day? You know exactly. what I mean? Or, or God forbid, somebody, you know, uh, another girl. Women can be catty towards each other, dude. God forbid, another woman finds out, and she goes, "Oh, didn't know you were such a hoe." Because that's how women are sometimes. Yeah, no, I, I, I know. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's sad, man. You don't want to see your girl go through some shit like that. Girl, you know, women are mean to each other, man. They're they really bad. are. Yeah, and and, and this I mean, is no disrespect towards any of our women listeners because no, you know we, just, we we see how things operate, and I know y'all do as yeah. well. Um, you know, and it, like, dude, it just it sucks. It sucks. Like you know, uh, me and Rob brought up this point that to where like you know, sex, right? Like we we're talking about sex, and we we're talking about. How guy, it's okay for guys to go and have sex whenever the fuck they want, but it's not okay for girls because they'll be labeled something, you know? And it, you're just like, it, it doesn't fucking matter. You're exactly. Human, you're a human being, and you can have sex with whoever the hell you want to have sex with. As long have as sex with as many people as you want. It, it doesn't as long, fucking As does. long as it's under consent. Like, and I can't yeah, stress that. As anymore. long as it's consensual and it's uh, respectful. Oh my God, dude. I can't stress that fucking enough because. I. There's so many dudes, bro, like, being in the military, man, like, they just don't fucking understand, like, what no means fucking no. Exactly. Like, even if she says, intent, like, you know how you send, like, flirty texts and shit like that, you know what I mean? Even if you guys are, like, talking nasty to each other, and she says, oh, I'm so down for that, but then in the heat of the moment, she goes, no, I'm not ready. No. I don't, I don't want to do that. That means stop. That means fucking no. Yeah. That means oh, don't fucking do it. Yeah, even bro. though even though she said she's down to do it in text message or whatever the fuck, you know, conversation you guys had. Yeah, bro. It's all, if she's I mean, saying no right then. That means no. If don't she's fucking not, touch her. Yeah, if she's not ready. She's not ready. You know. Yeah. You, 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 he, you he or she. That. He yeah. or she. Yeah, well, yeah that is see, true. That is true. And that's what a lot of guys fail to realize is that her saying no isn't. Dude, she's not into you. It's just she wants to savor the moment for a better opportunity. Yeah, exactly. You. Exactly. You know, or maybe like, you know, let's bite the fucking bullet. You know, like you're she's you're not the one. And exactly. You have to come that to could terms. always be the case, too. You have yeah. to come to terms in that, you know. Yep. You, you, you got to really fucking think. suck your fucking pride up and, and be like, all right, look, <coughs> I respect that. I'm going to go ahead and respect your wishes and yeah. we won't move forward with this. Yeah, man. And, and you know, and, and that's OK either either way. You know what I'm saying? Um but you know that that's one thing that I, I like. I I'm glad that we hit on because you know it's it's a serious topic, and we can touch that if y'all want to keep talking about this. I prefer not to right now because yeah. that's a it's a very dark topic, and I would I would rather save that yeah. for um, <coughs> maybe next episode. I would say I would say a or, female guest that would like to talk about that. We have a couple guests in the works for that one, yeah. so that would probably be a better. Um, a better opportunity to, because, to touch on that exactly because personally i haven't went through that and neither has uh anybody else here but you know if, if that's something y'all want to talk about which i think this should be addressed absolutely um, you know we we talk about this all the time we have a, a rob do you know what sark is what is it sark it's a sexual assault something sexual assault something but it's it's basically like you know like uh trying to keep clear of sexual assault um but it's a huge topic and uh you know my mom brought me up correctly um and to where i know no i know what no means i know how to respect women as well and i'm and i know y'all's parents did as well but there's some people that don't fucking get that and that's that needs to be stressed because like absolutely that's not the world we need to live in we can get rid of that a hundred percent um but you know there's still people that are going to deny it and they think they can they can do whatever they want that's a that fucking. Brings, that's not. That brings me cool. to um another point, and this is this is totally, it's kind of on topic but off topic too. Yeah. Um. This is more so just like a a public service announcement for any of the listeners. So I was chilling on TikTok or Facebook or whatever the fuck it was, some sort of social media, and I saw this thing, 
and I don't know if you guys saw it either. April twenty fourth. Did you guys hear about that? What what? I saw something, but I didn't read through everything. So this this is mainly for the ladies. Um, <coughs> just based on social media, I don't know how true it is. Apparently, April twenty fourth has been dubbed National Rape Day. Wow. Which is fucking sick. What? Like, yeah. like, like awareness? Awareness? No, not awareness. Like, National Rape Day. Like, go out and rape somebody. And I don't... Again, it, it could just be a bunch of fucktards on the internet just trying to gain attention or whatever. But it's been it's that? been on my timeline. It's been on my my uh, feed on, on social media. So I just wanted to make it known on here for any of our, our female listeners. Um... Look, Saturday is coming up, even though I don't think that is it is legit. Do be careful. Who fucking said that? Fucking I don't know, dude. Fucking sick ass people. Um, but you know how these internet trends and fucking fads take off. You know what I mean? Yeah. People are gonna be. So I guarantee somebody's gonna do something and fucking try to yeah. record it or whatever and be like, oh, national. You know. That's not how it's how it should be going down. So, so we need to post this now. No, we're going to. So, ladies, this is just a message to you guys. Y'all, please be careful. Come Saturday, um, if you're going out, go out with friends. Um, take care of together. Your people. And that's yeah, for take guys. care of your people. That's for let, guys too. Yeah, let let somebody know where you're going. Um, you know when you get there and when you leave. That. Or, you know, just all all in a hole, just stick together. Like I Exactly. Mean, one night's not worth all that bullshit at no. all. No. No. Especially especially if you're, it's a Saturday, so I know people are going to be going out and shit. Yeah. Um, maybe this isn't the night to, to go home with that dude from the bar. Maybe it's not a night um, to just go out to the bar. Just sleep down. Yeah. And you have Saturday. Just, just, don't do just hang out on Saturday. Hang out with your girls. Hang out with your dudes, whatever. But I'm... I'm <laughs> Genuinely, just saying this, just as a just as a yeah, public yeah. service announcement, and, and just to, just to make people aware. Yeah, because TikTok, TikTok blows up. There's a lot of there's a lot of people that are on there. So there's a lot of fucking idiots out there yeah, that are take, are would try to make heart. this thing a reality. Yeah, and it's not okay. Um, it's not okay at all. So no. yeah, just no, dodge. so yeah. In my my personal opinion, I think you should stay home. Um, Agreed. But at the same time, you you have the freedom to do whatever you want to do. But yeah. just. Use caution. Just be safe. Yeah, use yeah caution. just use caution. Be safe. Make sure that you're not traveling alone. Or if you are, you know, have somebody on the phone with you. 100%. Talk, talk on the phone. Um, cause, cause we don't want anybody to go through that, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's, it's rough. See, it is, it is gonna make rough. me super emotional because having a daughter, that yeah. just is a whole nother level. Yeah. yeah. That, that just, from a father <clears throat> standpoint, like, let somebody know so that way somebody is there for you. Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't have to be your best friend, your boyfriend. It could just be literally anybody. Yeah. Yeah, call your fucking parents if you want yeah, to. Yeah, literally. Just, talk, literally. just literally. talk on the phone with your mom or your dad and just be like, hey, look, I just want to talk to you to make sure that, you know, everything's okay. Even if you're just walking back to your car. Put, also put your location on. Uh, yes, your, Put please. your location. If you have an iPhone, I think Android might do it too. And um, Android does it too your snapchat yep. just have your location on so that people know where you're at so that so that if something were to happen they know where to where to find you or exactly. at least where to try to exactly um, so and we're just trying to look out for y'all's best interest rob i'm exactly. glad you brought that point up Absolutely. Uh, yeah that's definitely a, a huge subject that we need to touch in uh, that we need to talk about too um but I'm gonna go pee because I have to pee so bad. Uh, Justin, I'm gonna go Rob. after you. All right, you and uh, Rob talk, and I'll be right back. Right. Sounds good, man. We, me and Justin, me and Justin haven't had time to talk one on one, so this be nice. Absolutely not, dude. Ooh, that sounds nasty. That feedback. Uh, I'm gonna leave it over here. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So you're still drinking that one, dude? It's not very good, or what? No, it is good, man. I'm just savoring it. Like this one was better than the other. You know what? Because you brought that up, let me go ahead and just finish this off. You have to. It's peer pressure. That was crispy. Okay, so what is that one? Orange mango. Move his fucking headset. Put it... Yeah, that's better. Because that to, feedback is hitting my, my ears. The mic is too far. I can't just mute myself. It's fine. Anyway, orange mango. We're going to... Smells delicious. It smells kind of like um, 
squirt. Have you ever had the soda? Squirt and tequila? Maybe. Let's go. Tastes like squirt. Dude, I can drink squirt straight up. I prefer it with tequila, but (laughs) because it's a grapefruit soda. Do you like grapefruit personally? Yes, I do. Love grapefruit. I get a lot of shit for it, actually. Is that weird? No, it's not weird. I, I, I like the uh, the sourness from grapefruit personally, and that's me. Like I don't like overly sweet different things. I, it has to have like a sweet to tart balance. Exactly, and grapefruit or like uh, have you ever had a kumquat? Yes, kumquat is a perfect example for that. Absolutely. I, the crazy part is though, you can eat a kumquat whole. Yeah, so I've had it at like uh, that Asian buffet that's in New Braunfels, right next to the movie theater. Shogun's? No, no, that's not, Creek. not Creekside. Uh, Alamo Marketplace, where the <laughs> old gym is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a there's a Chinese place over there. There is a buffet there, by the no, way. No, there's since when? Say since less. like I I'm was back, little, y'all. but they would do kumquats, but marinated in like a simple syrup, so it was too overly sweet. So I guess I've never had a fresh kumquat. See, I tried a fresh kumquat for the first time like a week ago. <clears throat> Pop that shit in my mouth, dude. I was like, I bet you did. Dude, it took me off guard for a second because I'm thinking like, oh, it's probably going to be kind of sweet and, and, and maybe a little tart. That bitch was tart, really? but it was good. And like, that, that probably goes back to why they coated it in simple syrup. Was to have that simple balance of the two. Exactly. We could talk. We could talk fucking food all night. I'm a Do foodie. Do not get me started. I love food, <laughs> bro. I already sent you guys food porn. I'll post that shit on the fucking Instagram later on. But I, I love cooking, dude. I can talk about food all night. Like, dude, me too. Hey, let's bring up the event again. You know, the uh, event. Yeah, like so. At uh, was it Ernie's? Can I, can I take a piss real quick before we bring it up? Yeah, go ahead. I'll talk All to right, Justin about it. it. No, yeah. don't talk to Justin about it. I'm going to talk about it, too. We'll talk about something else. We'll, yeah, talk, we'll, about talk, something. we'll talk about something. All right, we'll talk yeah, about talk it about here. Something else. We'll talk about it here in a second. We'll talk, we will. We'll, we'll cover the topics that we talked about. Oh, daddy oh, chill. Yeah, look at these. You see those cheeks? Daddy chill. <laughs> yeah, so, like, I was thinking that we could do, like, a potluck, you know? Like, everybody brings something. Um, super simple, right? It'll be enough to feed everybody, you know, because everybody's going to have like a tray or a dish that they personally can bring um, if it's okay with Austin. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, I think that would be good too, right? Because like, you know, you, you uh, Austin, if that's okay with you, brother, uh, we can talk about it. You know, we just got to get some like, we'll get like paper cl- plates and paper cups. Um, and then we'll also have, you know, um, you know, them ordering drinks because we'll do. Uh, we're not, I don't want to do B Y O B. Bring your own food. That's yeah, br- it. bring your own food because I want them to buy drinks at the bar. Um, and pe- and if anybody else understands that, like, um, you know, this is to help support Austin's business, um, and that's what we're doing. So um, I don't want I don't want any alcohol allowed if we do this event. Um, you know, purchase it there uh, if you can't afford it. I'm sorry, just don't come. You know. Um, but I think that it it would be good to you know if you can if you can bring food, and then we all have a good time together and just kind of like literally have like a like a, a dinner together that would be fucking fantastic. That was quick as fuck. How really? Because it felt long as shit, dude. That was a fucking <laughs> that was long really ass fucking piss. Quick. Was, you feel like jetted that motherfucker out? <laughs> nah, dude. It felt like I was in there for a hot minute. I was just staring at the window, looking at the birds, like on a. Something about Mary. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> you zip your balls he's up just, in the fucking... Just, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> that hey. shit was wild. You ever done that before? Hey, zip your balls up? You zip... Have you zipped <laughs> your balls up? And I've you're never fucking... done that before. Bro, yeah. my balls aren't that big, I guess. I'm not gonna lie. There was one time where it was like... I just zipped too quick, and it caught like a little bit Ooh. of skin, and I was just like, holy fuck! <laughs> Bro. Oh my god, that shit hurts so bad. Hell or like no. if you if you if you if you get a little bit of like Yo, I've nicked there. my balls. I've nicked my balls. Yeah, so, no. Dude, I it have, hurts. Uh, that's why I bought I, I bought the lawnmower 3.0 or whatever. It's the by it's my Oh manscaped. the manscapes. Oh, yeah. Yo, how do you how do you like that? I've been I've been contemplating so, buying one. My personal review on it is fucking yes. fantastic. It's got a flashlight so you can like shave your nuts and shit and and it's so great because you can shave them in any direction and it does not cut your nuts. Like, at all? 
The old version did. The old version, yeah, the two point oh. Yeah, the two point oh had a uh, 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 malfunction or whatever to where it would nick every now and then. But this one, they fucking got it down. Uh, and I was scared at first, but then I'm, now I'm like, <laughs> just so a, so just a regular worth, Tuesday. Just it's regular worth Tuesday. it's worth the buy. Hell yeah, absolutely. It it narrows everything down like from like the carefulness that you have to do, you know, because like you know your balls like they come up and get tight and then they come down and they're like, oh, like uh, back down, yeah. like, you know. So like, you have to like maneuver your shit. Anyway, but um, yeah, it's it's fucking great. Like uh, I like it because it makes me feel a little more clean. Uh, you can get your butthole with it if you want. You know, like sometimes you got to do that, man. Sometimes you got to do it. Um, See, I was just gonna ask if you would wax my asshole whenever you got here. So <laughs> no, but I was waiting for to. Right, so, exactly. Be so, a butt. Be a pal. Be a butt pal. Be a butt pal. Hey, be I'll a butt. Be I'll a butt buddy. I'll do it, bro. I'm like, hey, you say you say when. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. I'll be the one Yo. ripping. Have you ever been waxed before, like just on any part of your body? No, but my body has, and he fucking Bro, gets it done frequently. That shit fucking hurts. I will be the first to tell you. I let my wife and my sister in law <laughs> wax my wax my stomach mm. and my chest. Mm. Hurts I can't, I can't like a shit. motherfucker. I can't grow a fucking See? thing. I got a little bit. Yeah. I got, a I got more. I got more chest on my tum Yeah, we're showing each other's chest and body hairs right now. Uh, you oh don't shit! Say, you don't want to see show- crack. I never showed you guys fucking Tyrone, did I? Who the fuck's Tyrone? Tyrone. Oh, the dinosaur? <laughs> Tyrone the Tyrannosaur. Hell yeah, he looked good. I'd Dude, fuck, he has sunglasses on too. I'd fuck Tyrone. Hell yeah, good deal. <laughs> Alright, but anyway, so I know that you guys were talking about the fucking meet and greet without me. Yes, yes, so uh, that's what we were talking about. Um, so I was thinking like a potluck, right? Like everybody bring a dish, you know, or not everybody has to bring one. But, mm-hmm. you know, like, it would be nice, like, for everybody, thank you, brother. Um, it would be nice to, like, have everybody, like, bring a dish. And if it's okay with Austin to have that one night, um, you know, where we bring, like, food together. Everybody makes something that, you know, like, we think that everybody else would like, obviously. Um, but uh, as far as the BYOB, no. I'm, I'm going to cut that off because, and here's the reason, because we're trying to support Austin's business, right? So Well, it's a bar, so they, exactly. legally they can't allow that. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, well, so there are bars that do allow that. And yeah, yeah. No, I know there Florida. are, but I I know that this one probably would. <laughs> I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't want that personally. But no, me neither. I want to support. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So th- this like every drink that you buy for Austin is only helping him and his business out. And uh, like I told him, I was like, if you don't have the money, don't fucking come. You know, it, it's as simple as that. It's because yo, if you don't want to help support a business that we were trying to help su- like support as well. And we're also going to contribute to that, you know. Exactly. Uh, but, you know, maybe mm-hmm. maybe we could put, like, a, enough money together if we start a fundraiser or something to where we can all, like, purchase drinks at Austin uh, or, or at Ernie's uh, for <laughs> Austin. At Austin. Um, for Ernie's, for Austin's business. You know, maybe that would, that would cover the night for a lot of people, you know. Yeah. Like, if we, if we could get, like, if we could put maybe... Three hundred dollars down. Yeah, you know what I mean. I guarantee, if we had twenty people show up, that would cover a decent amount of drinks. You know, per, yeah. per at least at least two to three drinks per person. Yeah, and see, that's not even on top of the crowd that's already going to be there. Exactly. Yeah. So obviously, that's something that we can talk about. Um, we're not going to say that that's set in stone because it's not because we have yet to have that conversation. Um, <clears throat> but. I definitely like that idea. Yeah. Because we want as many people as possible to show up. Exactly. So if, if we could create a tab already that's already paid for in advance, yeah. that would be beneficial for our listeners but for the bar too. Because that's already yeah. money that the bar knows. It's already in. yeah, they know that hey, this is the, you know, like they know what their night's about to come. Like they're gonna probably have a few other people going there. But at the same time, like in Austin, like I don't want you to, I want, I don't want you to close down your business just for us. You know, like I want us to have our thing, and then you, you're still able to operate as well. You know, like I. And, still and here's that. and that's the conversation that I have with him too. So if we wanted it to be a little bit more public, he does have, or I'm sorry, private. Yeah. He does have an area for that for okay. us. Okay. Okay. Cool. But I told him I didn't want that, yeah. and the reason for that is because. I want it to be as public as possible so that when people see the crowd come over to us and, and the energy and everything, that's going to draw more attention to us. And that's going to make people curious about what we're doing and who we are. Yeah, exactly. And 
hopefully we have a banner or a flag or something by then to where we yeah. can put that up um, and we can I was thinking about creating that this next uh, week, actually. Um, already ha- already in the works. I just got to finish <laughs> yeah, up something, and, and then we just got to order it. Yeah, that's cool. Let me know. Like, uh, I'll have it with you, whatever. we can. And, <laughs> but here's the thing. Um, uh, Austin, another question for you, brother. Um, I know we're bringing your name up a lot. You know, it's cool because it, you're our first business that we get to talk about right now. And this is, this is what I, w- I want. Like, this is what we want to show you. You know, th- we want to show you, like, Hey, you know, we're here to do, we're here to do business as well, but our thing is, is going to be advertising you and you allowing us to come in and, and just basically like help bring your customers in because, you know, that's what we like to do as people. We like to talk to other people. We like to establish relationships and and you know what we want the most is to, um, have people come there and be like, yo, this is the fucking place. You know, we met some good people here. We had a great time. Um, I listen to, oh, you have an ambitious scumbags flag, you know, like, you know, and that that's like, you know, we can give you one of those. And that's just an advertisement to us, you know, and, and, and it, it's just, it, it helps us both, you know, we don't have to pay shit. You don't, we, you don't have to pay shit. I don't have to pay shit. Rob doesn't have to pay shit. Justin, I don't have to pay shit. It's literally just helping, helping grow the business. All we exactly. do, all we do is talk and people like it. And all you did was open your business and then we're going to get people that like us to come to your business. That's exactly. It. And then people like your business. Yeah. Done. That's so, literally all it is. It's li- And that's how networking works. <laughs> yeah. And, and exactly. And, and you know, like our, I think our, our emblem and our symbol is pretty cool. I think it's a cool flag to hang around. Like, you know, and uh, you know, it's definitely like a vet- veteran and civilian community uh, type deal. So, and, and I believe, I believe um, one of the people that, if I'm not mistaken, helped him open the bar or is a partner with him or something. It is veteran owned from what yeah. I, from what I believe. I'm not entirely sure I could be wrong about that, but I believe it's veteran owned. So that's even more of a reason to fucking do it. Yeah. Plus our fucking symbol has the Texas flag in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, like that's the one that I want to put in. That's the one. That, exactly. Like, I that's the one I want to do for the flag. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to do them high quality. You know, everything's going to be like Absolutely. very like perfect on, on to the, the flag that we want um they're going to be kind of similar to this one i have the bar barstool operators flag right here uh they're not affiliated with uh barstool sports but they're it's pretty cool i fucking like it and it's a veteran owned company uh they're uh soft special operations forces um run and then i have this flag i don't i know y'all can't fucking read this yeah y'all probably no step on snit. yeah but it's it's to mimic the uh um, you know, don't tread on me flag, but it just says no it. step on snake. And, uh, I thought it was funny. It's drawn by like a fucking fifth grader. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> so, I tell you what, I fucking love that flag though. Yeah. I mean, I, I like them both. Um, you know, I, I want to get some more flags, you know, to just to, like from the people that I met, um, basically everything that's on my cooler. So I have like stickers, like, so if I buy a flag or something like that and, uh, or a shirt or something that's, that's from a veteran owned company, I always get a sticker just to, um, kind of like pinpoint where i've been in my life you know and like what i liked at, at the time so um like uh and, and good foundations to get into uh pararescue foundation if you like air force uh pararescue foundation and combat control foundation too like any type of money that you send to them um you can get flags and shit from them as well um but this all goes to them and their families um there's the 22 a day you can do the 22 a day challenge also and it's uh it's 22 22 is too, 22 too many. And it's about veteran suicide as well. Um, that is, it's a very big thing to me personally. Um, I still do, I try to do my 22 a day every day just to like remember like every, like all my friends that I've lost personally um, being in service. Um, however, there, there, there's just, there's, there's good things that, that, that come out of like um, what we talk about in me personally, in my, in me being a veteran. Um, this is what I, I enjoy talking about and and other veterans get it especially when they get out too because they they like remember all the memories that they've had and all the brothers and sisters that they've lost as well and uh it's it's a it's a huge deal you know because you you can't like and one thing i can say like it's hard to establish relationships um that were that you were so like like unlike the military you know the military like you have you have people like brothers for me that i've just i've hung around so long you know every day i see these motherfuckers right every day and then you get you get that call or or like something so we went to my we went to my butt i'm gonna i'm gonna touch on this real quick because i i want to 
I want to show love to my buddy Tyler Smith. Um, me and Smith weren't weren't too close, but we had some good times together. <clears throat> but um, my the buddies that I have are are very close to him. Um, Smith Smith passed away not too long ago, and we don't we don't really know what happened. Um, but I went to his I went to his memorial. And uh, it was very weird. So they did roll call, right? So all my buddies, they were there, and they were calling out. They were like, Staff Sergeant this, uh, Tech Sergeant that. And then everybody would repeat, like, here after that, right? And uh, then they called. They were like, Staff Sergeant Tyler Smith. And you didn't, you didn't, hear, sh- you didn't hear shit. You didn't hear a fucking thing, right? Um, that, was, that was weird. That hit me a lot. And he was like, and then they they said, Staff Sergeant Smith. No one replied. And they said, Staff Sergeant Tyler Smith. No one replied. And then they said, Staff Sergeant Tyler and his middle name Smith. And no one fucking replied. And then it just is like, that's when it fucking hits you. You know, like, because for me, I've lost my buddies. And uh, it's 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 such a it's such a different topic, you know, like because I I didn't I guess I didn't know how to process it until later on when I'm alone and I think about it, and then that's when it hits you the most. And Justin Justin knows like like you know besides being being a uh, like being in the military because it's such a close community, you know. Um, but we had a buddy that that. He, he uh he passed away a few year a few years back. You know we talk about we talk about Zach. Yeah, absolutely. And uh Zach Zach was one of our buddies that we we hung out with like since high school. Or fuck, we grew up with him. The one thing that I hold myself accountable for. But you can't. But I can because he called me directly and it was just one of those like nights that you know like man I'm gonna go to sleep early I'm just gonna do this I'm not gonna worry about anybody else I'm just gonna do my thing. The call that I missed was the one right before everything happened. Yeah. And so it hits it hits you a lot deeper than you think. Because man, what if I would have picked that call up? Like, what if I could have done this or I could have done that differently to fix it, the outcome? But I didn't. Yeah. I don't know. It, I don't. I don't know how we got on this topic, but it, it doesn't need to talk about, and it, it needs to be talked about. Um, you know, <laughs> I think. I think uh, us being young people experiencing that for the first time, and Rob, I, I don't know if you've experienced that, and if you have, I want to hear your your input. Experienced what? Um, like just suicide or losing uh, one of your buddies in general. Um. I don't know if I can talk about it on here. I think I can. I mean... No, I think I can. I just... So, I'm not going to go into specifics, but I have had my my own struggles with that. Yeah. Um, I have had my days that have been dark. I have had my thoughts that have been dark, um, and there have been times where I was at the edge. Um, I don't talk about it too, too openly. Um, who can, really? I- exactly, who can? Uh, <coughs> I'll share more off the air. Yeah. With you guys. No, that's fine. Um, I respect that. But just for for the listeners, personally for me, I came too close for comfort. And it's kind of one of those moments where you have to take a step back and reevaluate everything in your life. Um, Because it's that split second decision to where it can either be over or you can continue pushing on. Um, luckily I'm continued to push on, but again, it's, it's, 
it, it, it god damn no no um it's hard man it really it, it is, is it is hard because just check on your boys check on check on check check on everybody here's here's, here's what i'm gonna say guys Gosh, um everybody has that one friend in their group that does their best to make you smile to make you laugh um check on them because nine times out of ten that person is acting that way because they're trying to mirror your happiness that yep. they've provided for you I can attest to that personally. I am the guy that is constantly trying to be the light in the room to make other people's lives happy and and fun. But at the end of the day, I'm struggling with my own demons. Um, not so much anymore, but I, I've had my days. Yep. And it, it, it's by the grace of God that I'm, I'm still able to to continue pushing through, but just check on your friends. That's all I got to say. Check on your friends, check on your loved ones and make sure that, that they're okay. And if some, if, if you're noticing patterns to where somebody might not be okay, or you're noticing things to where even just you're making assumptions to where you're like, you know, I think that person's acting a little differently than what they normally are. Just check in with them. Just send them a quick message. That's all it takes. Just be like, Hey man, read your post or whatever. You know, it didn't sound like you. Just wanted to check in and make sure everything's okay. They're either gonna say I'm fine, I'm good, but I appreciate it, or they're gonna let you know what's wrong. You really? Or sometimes you're gonna have to fucking push and figure out what's wrong. No, nah, man. I mean, but like everybody, everybody can say like, "Hey, how are you doing?" But how are you actually doing? You know? Does that make sense? Yeah. You know, like well, like like the it, first it's thing genuine. that we do is going yeah. back to the pride that we were talking yeah. about was. I'm fine. I don't need sympathy from anybody. Yeah. I don't need this. I don't need that. And a lot of this is towards men too, man. Like honestly, 100%. like women, I understand y'all go through the same shit. Don't don't get me wrong by any means. But y'all y'all are more intact with your emotions and and are able to explain that that more and be it's okay. But if if we're in society, we're labeled as a bunch of fucking pussies for for saying that or or crying or feeling a genuine fucking you know, like like a feeling that we're supposed to feel as human beings, and I think that's so fucking wild, bro. Um, I just, you know, I, I think, fuck. All right, so I think a lot of things that like um, <coughs> to do with my relationship wise and stuff as well. Have have uh, a lot of stimulation is is uh, from um, my buddies that have passed too, even before then. Um, and I think it's just because I, I gained these connections and it's on a different level, but Justin knows too, you know, Justin knows that like we lost a buddy when we were young and that, that like when you're young, you don't really know how to process that. Even as an adult, you still don't know how to process that. And what I, what I do as a coping mechanism is I tune everything out. I tune everything and I, like I don't until like I'm I'm alone, and then uh, then when I'm alone, I just I, I I take it in and it's fucking like unrealistic the the pain that I feel. You know, because I was like I just fucking talked to this person last week, I just hung out with this person last week. You know, and um, it really it, it's hard like it like I have a, I have a lot of commitment issues for for multiple reasons. And the relationship is one thing, you know, like in, in my past failed relationships, losing my friends that I tried to be there for is another, right? Um, and, you know, it, it's crazy because I try to talk to my, my, my parents about this because, you know, like that's like my mom, especially my mom, 100 percent, because my mom has that nurturing personality. And I need that because I can't provide that for myself. Yeah. So. Um, I try to talk to her, but she, like, she, she tries her ass off and, and don't get me wrong. I love my mom to death, but there's she some things get it. she, yeah, exactly. She doesn't get it. Exactly. Because, she, because at the end of the day, she's still a mom. My mom's never, I don't, I don't think she's lost anybody to suicide before or 
or or been through the the trials that I've been through personally, or what you've been through, or what you've been through. You know, like you know, yeah, and, and that's what I'm saying. Nobody can understand each other unless they talk to people. You know, exactly. But see, you also need to talk to people, but you also need to deal with it. You yeah. need to learn how it's going to affect you and how to comprehend it going forward because it could happen any time, any day, any hour, and you would never know a single thing about it. Yep. Yep. So essentially preparing yourself for it and learning from what you dealt with and how to understand and comprehend going forward. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know. But. That's a, that's a new, no, well, I mean, you have to, you have to learn how to like, you have to learn how to accept, <sighs> accept the new normal, the new, what's supposed to be normal. Yeah. It's never going to be as normal as it was. No. You have but to you learn can't. to accept that. You know, I've had buddies that reached out to me because, you know, and we have one follower that I, dude, I fucking, I can't wait to meet this guy because he, he, that man, he fucking, he talks to me and I know, you know, like, I know you're listening to this and you listen to every episode. You support us so much. I'm not going to name names. Um, but dude, you know, me and you have talked and, uh, you know, you know, I'm always here for you and I can't wait to fucking meet you. And I think, I, I think that you, I know, I know what you've been feeling and I know, um, I like, I, I've been there and I, I get it. Um, like th- this man explained sh- some shit to me that I I felt on like no other level like like I was there, and that's why I, I want to talk to him because I know there's a way out. There's I know there's a there's a light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Shit still sucks from time to time. Absolutely, we all know, we all know never that. not going to. We all know that, but you know, yep. dude, like there's still good memories to be made. There's still fucking wild nights that we have, you know, like some celebration and, and us getting. In, a little trouble but not too much you know like just a little bit you know but at the same time like like to where it's enough to where we had funny memories something to laugh at you know um there and and we're all about establishing new relationships and getting to know you so and that's the point i want to try to make is like if you need somebody to talk to we are always open because we've all been through some shit we have fucked up and every person that i bring on the show has also been through some shit so you know and i don't think you knew that you know we had alex we had ryan and we had you justin and uh you know and this is the thing this is this is what people forget about yeah we could be like rogan we could you know have celebrities and, and gain that type of relationship and maybe in the future we will but one thing I don't want to fucking uh, I don't want y'all to forget is that the majority matters and the majority being you, me, Rob, Justin, every the fucking average, buddy the else average shows, man. The, the average people, you know, and that's why we talk. That's why we do this show, because, you know, we are the we're, we're not going to put on a fucking front for everybody else. You get what you get. This is us. This is how you feel. This is what I want you to explain to us. Now, there's no filter when you come on the show. There's some things that we stray away from, you know, just just to keep the whole the audience whole, you know, because I don't want any differences here. I want you to understand that we all feel certain ways and that, you know, we need to come together as a society and uh, and be able to like, you know, just 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 like love other people. That's literally it. And that's the key to a lot of things is just being able to show love. Fuck. Being able to show love to a lot of people, fuck, I fucked that one up. But <laughs> is that funny? <laughs> but at the same time, you know, like, it, it's just it's serious, you know. Um, but I'm not trying to dig too deep on this right now. It's supposed to be a little more positive episode. I got in my feels. I do that a lot. We all do every single day, bro. Yep. I do exactly, that. man. It's all good. <laughs> I do that a lot, but it it does need to be addressed. And I love you guys, man. I, I and this is genuine me, you know. This is me talking to you. This is me talking to Justin. This is me talking to Rob. And I'll do the same thing with you These guys. These are almost like our everyday conversations. And exactly. This is how we talk to one another. Yeah. And that's what to have that one person you just feel comfortable with. And, and you know, like the feedback that we getting have been getting, I feel comfortable enough to keep talking about this, you know? That's exactly. exactly. And and that's what I wanted from the, from the get-go. 
That's what Rob's been wanting from the get go. And and that's exactly what I said whenever we started this. I want this this fucking podcast right here. I want our followers and our listeners to feel as if it's not just a show, but that it's the becomings of a community. Yeah, of man, a family. Absolutely. I want I when we do this meet and greet, I want people to get to know one another and have the same support that we can provide for them. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Yeah, because we all if go through these fucking struggles, bro. We all exactly. Do. If you're having a bad day, I want you to be able to say, oh, fucking Jimmy from Ambitious Scumbags was there for me. You know, so-and-so from fucking the meet and greet was there for me. Yeah. That's how it all starts. Yeah, man. And that's, 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 you know, how we, that's how we slowly make a difference. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, and that's, that's with, that's with mental health. That's with fucking, um, relationships. Yeah. Relationships. Like, because a lot of your mental health issues come from your previous or dude, they come from fucking everything. Relationships. Yeah, your mental health like comes from everything. It stems from everything. The things that you think you can't do, like career wise, the, 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 the shit that people tell you on a day to day basis that, that, that are negative people that you might have to work with or might have to be around. You know, you take those things in and you're like, what the fuck? Like, 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 why are you being like that? You know, even constructive criticism can be taken wrong. You know, uh, we talked about that, Rob. We talked about, you know, like relationships. You know, so relationships can also fucking make you like just feel like shit because you're not accepting. You can't accept rejection. And I don't know of anybody that can really accept rejection. You know? Me, personally? Fuck no, I can't. Fuck no. Dude, I'm a good looking son of a bitch. Sometimes. No, dude, I'm a, I'm a good looking son of a bitch. And guess what? I get really hurt when people are like, it's over. I'm going to be telling you, it's never going to be over. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, but you, but I might I might turn you down for cuddles. I'm just going to let you know. If Justin's in the room next to you, I'm going after Justin. Hey, bro. I, I'm, I'm, gonna keep I'm just trying to be in the middle of both of y'all. <laughs> To be a weird that's, Oreo. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, at the same time, bro, like, it's just one of those things, man. Like, you just, you're going to, you're going to feel pain and hurt everywhere. But we're here because we're fucking making it through. And we're still, exactly. we still see the better side. You know? Yeah. We're, we're still fucking, we're still making it. And we're still talking about it. And it needs to be talked about because it makes me feel better talking about the shit in myself. You know? Exactly. And that's, this is an outlet for us, but this is also <laughs> an outlet for you guys as well. You're going to hear the shit that we're going through and the shit that we have gone through. Yeah. And hopefully it'll resonate with you and allow <laughs> you to be a little bit more open about the shit that you've gone through as well. At the same time. The end, yeah. Yeah. You're, you're right. You're right. At the same time, though, I want to stress, like, at our meet and greets, dude, if you want to get on a fucking deep level, I will fucking talk with you. Oh, yeah. You. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I will be now. on spot. Yeah. 100%. Yep. For you. He can do it. I've seen it. Zach Efron. Boom. Do what now? Zach Efron, he can cry on spot. That's oh, I can thing. too. Do it. I'm not gonna do it right now, man. Do it. Cause I don't want. Don't do it, Justin. <laughs> don't do it. Stop. I will because I I really fucking will right now. Hey Alexa, play Bryson Tiller. Write your wrongs. Stop. Oh, you had to go. I couldn't find "Write Your Wrong" by Bryson Tiller, but here's Alexa. other music by Bryson. Stop. Alexa, we had Alexa on the show. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Please don't go there. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. But ser- but seriously, um, at the meet and greet, if if you guys want to have a, a deep conversation with us, pull us aside and we'll sit down and talk with you over drinks, and we'll we'll get to know you. You'll get to know us, and and even if you don't want to drink, bro. Like, yeah, even if you don't want to, even if you're not a drinker, if you fucking come out, out and yeah. just hang out with us, you know. We'll, we'll put the you. we'll put the drinks down and we'll just fucking talk to you. But you see everything that we've talked about today. It ties back into a relationship. You want to get to know that person on an emotional level because yeah. you want to know what baggage they come with yeah, and what baggage you're going to be accepting because yes. if you don't tell me that, I'm not going to know you're going through it. Yeah. If you don't yeah, express exactly. that, I'm not going to know you're going through that. Yeah, And so it ties back into the communication aspect of it that be one with your partner, put your pride aside. And just live your best life together and express everything that comes straight into your mind. Yeah. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, and like, you can't, dude, like, Justin said it perfectly, man. Like, you, you really can't, like, like, you can't hold anything back. If something is bothering you, it's not fun. It's not, it's fun. It's, and don't, this is what it is. 
Exactly. You have to let it be known. You have to put it out into the, the fucking ether out there. Yeah. Um, and so, and just make it known to, to whoever you have in your life because that's the only way that you're going to receive the help that you need is by just expressing exactly what the fuck is up. Yeah, you're right, man. I, fuck. Yeah. And I need, I need to take our own advice, man. I really do. Dude, and Dude, seriously, that you know, makes all three of us. It really does. You know, we give great advice. We we say a lot of shit that is wise beyond our years. Yeah. But we never. And we, we need it. to. We need to fucking. I've started to listen to the shit that I say to other people, but I really need to live it. <coughs> no, you're I, right. I, I need to live it every day. You know, a lot of the the advice that I give out, I, I honestly like say it over and over to myself. And, uh, like the more you say it, the more it makes sense, you know, um, just, just putting yourself in situations, right? Like, I know we all, all think about that. Like when you go through a breakup, you're like, why the fuck did this happen? Why am I not good enough? Like, like what the fuck is this? Like, you know, like I thought this was going to happen. I tuned that shit out because I don't, I don't want to feel anything if that makes sense. And it, it sucks that I'm like, like emotionally numb to, towards that, you know? And, and I'm not trying to fuck anybody over, but at the same time, I try. You know? Does that make sense? Like, but, I, I yeah. really do try. So, let me... You need to feel it, though. Yeah. I was just about to say that, Justin. You, I swear you, to God, you dude. Need you, to, need, dude. you need to have that that point of vulnerability in, in that moment to where you just let that emotion come out. And, Justin, I'm sorry. I did not mean to cut you off you're on good, that, man. You're good. I'm but you said it, the exact words I was about to say. Exactly. It popped in my head. You need to allow yourself to feel because... You know, you're hurting in that moment. And even though you want to be emotionally numb towards it to where you don't feel anything and you can kind of just <coughs> let it fade away into the background, it's healthy to feel some way towards it, man. Yeah. It's he- it's healthy to make it the front of your of your fucking thoughts and, and just air it out. Because if not, it goes in the back. <coughs> becomes stale it becomes stagnant and it starts to fucking suck and then you're ready to move on from that stale dry relationship that you were in you carry that shit with you until you accept it that's emotional baggage dude that's emotional baggage you gotta fucking not making that emotional baggage known forward you're already carrying a relationship that's not going anywhere think of it like this okay you're traveling on an airplane Okay? And then you jump out. Boom. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're traveling on an airplane. What do they charge you for? Drinks. Emotional no. baggage. Condoms. They, they charge you for your bags. Oh, okay. They charge you for your baggage. They charge you for more than that. What, ha- what happens if you're over on your baggage? Uh, they charge you more. You pay a little bit more. You pay a little bit more. Every time that you're over the weight limit on your baggage you end up paying more and more. Yeah. And this might be a fucking stupid analogy, and you guys can let me know that you think it's stupid, but I think it works. <laughs> um, <laughs> but seriously, think about it like in that aspect. You want to have a, a, the least amount of baggage. You want to just have a fucking carry-on. Yeah. All right, dude? Really? That's really. all you fucking want. You just need a carry-on. And it's going to be the right amount to where you can deal with it. The more baggage you have, the more fucking problems you have. All right. And so so how, but, do, how do you pack lightly? You don't because you pack for like a month in a week span, just like I did. A month in a week span. Absolutely. All right, so you take things a month or a week at a, or a week at a month at a time. I typically plan like a, a three day wardrobe <coughs> per day that I'm gonna be going. All right, nice. I like where this analogy is going. So you wanna you wanna take things step one step at a fucking time. Exactly. All right, cool. So yeah, let I'll me make that. an analogy for you. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So going back to the baggage concept. <laughs> what happens if you lose your baggage, right? Same. You know what you're accustomed to. You know what you like. Yeah. But you develop new things in the process. That's keeping your old feelings, but developing new ones for whatever your taste is going forward. Whether it's a new partner, a new you, a new everything. You have to be always open to new baggage because that's only going to take you and make you a better man going forward. Fair enough. 
I was gonna say because if, if that if that plane fucking crashes and burns, you're pack a parachute, you know, just in case, you know, like that way you can jump out the yeah, fucking plane. Yeah. Pack, pack an emotional parachute. Yeah. Coming yeah, back to the gulag, baby. I do that a lot. So yeah, um, but but here's the thing, you can't go into the situation thinking that the plane's gonna crash. Yeah. You got to go in there thinking that you're going to reach your destination safely. You got to yeah. have that old baggage, but a touch of new. Yep, that's exactly. fair. Exactly. And you know what? I think, you know, the emotional plane that we're riding on right now, they don't crash too often. Mm. No. No. They don't crash too often, It, it won't crash. And, 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 and this analogy you just, is pretty good. You, you, you can't expect it to crash. That's the thing. Because think about it. Technically... You're the pilot of the fucking plane. No, you're right. You're the pi- You're the pilot, and your emotions are the passenger. <coughs> Fuck my emotions. Fuck exactly. <laughs> you take your emotions where you want to fucking take them, but nah, don't sabotage them by and I, and crashing the plane. But at the same time, you know, I think I love how we're talking about this. I think it needs to be a, it needs to be a little bit of time before you start taking a flight. Absolutely. Exactly. You need to walk places. You need to drive places. You need to appreciate the scenery before you start fucking taking flights. Absolutely. Or, you know, just stay away from traveling altogether for a little bit. You know what? That too. You know what? Just <laughs> become a homebody and focus on yourself for a little bit. I mean, that, that's what I need to do. As personally. I'm traveling yeah. currently. You know what? Yeah. You know what? Read a fucking... Wyatt, how about you read a fucking book? Which one? Which, which Harry Potter book should I read? <laughs> Let me tell you. As I've been traveling, that's all I've been doing is reading. You know what? Hold up, hold up. I have a book right here. I'm staring at my fucking bookcase. I can't wait. Wyatt, to... I want you to read this book. I can't wait you to read, read Lord of the Rings. That's me fuck. <laughs> that goes back <laughs> yeah, to that TikTok Yeah, so we watched a TikTok earlier. The uh, the sub Yeah, I I've, I've read some of that actually. Oh my God. Hold on. You need to read this, dude. No, I, no. So uh, I actually understand that book. There's a whole uh, as you should. There's a whole practice, and that's why that's why I am the way I am actually. This one. I have the audio book. It said, I used to oh. be a miserable fuck. So it's, Exactly. It's literally, it's literally people practice not giving a fuck. Like, yeah. like they literally don't, like, in. So, they don't practice being a miserable fuck. No, they, they practice they, being it while overcoming <coughs> why they were feeling a miserable fuck. Really? Absolutely. This book right here. So, a lot of what we were talking about earlier when it came to relationships and owning up to your mistakes and doing everything that you can in your physical nature to be better than what your partner is assuming yeah but in the same time taking your partner your partner's <coughs> feelings into consideration is exactly what this book is talking about fair enough yeah so I, I i see i i viewed it in a different perspective though i viewed it as the less you care the more it doesn't fucking matter does that make sense it's not true. No, well, that's what that's what I that's what I thought. That's why that's how I took that person. Okay. And uh, I I went on YouTube and there's a whole thing uh, stoicism. That's what it is. What is it? Stoicism. 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 So it's 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 the art of not caring, and that's why I'm good I, at that. I think I've adapted that unintentionally. Like yeah, that. no, I'm right there with you, but I don't know how that's gonna make me better because I feel like I need to care. You no, know, you do need to care though. It's yeah. it's not, it's not healthy not to care. Mm-mm. It's yeah. not healthy to shut yourself away from feeling certain things. You, you know have to I mean? embrace the care, dude. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It, yeah. Hey, it's literally embracing the suck. Yeah, man. You, you have to embrace the suck. And, exactly. And, but and you know what, what what I'm talking about is my past. You know. Embr- hey, embrace it because it's it. Your past <laughs> define doesn't define you. But it creates you to become a better you. And I get that, I guess. Does that make, does that make sense, yeah. Justin? It, it defines the man that you want to be, the man that you're striving to be. <laughs> well, yeah. see, I don't know the man that I'm, I want to be. Nobody I mean, does. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, know, I know the man that I, I'd like, like to be, and, 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 but I feel like I can't figure that out yet. And I don't think anybody's got the answers for that. No, but, but you know you kind of have a <laughs> idea of the kind of man you want to be. Yeah. And the goal in life is to live your life according to the way that you want to be. Because eventually, yeah. that's who you become. Yeah, well, here's the thing, though. I don't, I don't think a lot of people stress like the, the processes that go along with uh, getting to where you want to be. And that's the struggles, the, the emotions that you have to feel. Um, actually giving a fuck. 
Yeah. That, that's the that's the dark nights, the dark days, the yeah. the shitty. That's Being alone. embracing the fuck. That's Being. embracing what you don't want to deal with, but dealing with it head on is only going to make you grow from it and change you overall. Yeah. And become stronger. Yeah. Really, like it really is, you know, and 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 you know, I'm on this journey, like, um, and uh, like you know, fuck, I'm gonna get into this. So do it, bro. You know, we're both here. Fuck. All right. So. I've been dating a few women, you know, like here and there. Like, but like dating as in like getting to know women that I I I could see potentially dating, yet I check out. You know, like I'm like I don't know if I'm ready for this because it's pushed too fast on me. You, Rob, Justin, y'all know that I've I've been through a divorce, and personally, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Makes sense. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. So like, it's just like a lot of things that like I take in and they that they take personally. Um, I need to seek mental clarity to understand the man that I want to be because I don't want them to have somebody that's going to be somebody that they're not going to appreciate as much. You know, somebody that's not, not as mentally clear as, as what I could provide them. Does that make sense? Yeah. So um, I'm still dating, still single, trying to figure out who I am. But uh, at the same time, I kind of want to take a step back from the dating scene. And I, I want to figure out who I am. And that's why, like, I, I can't forget my intentions of why I moved to Texas. And that's one of those. That's one of those things that I'm stressed. Um, and it's really just to, just to let me unwind and think and just just be at peace with who I am, accept everything that I am, and then, you know, like, don't have my insecurities. Don't, like, and know what I want, you know? Like, that, that's the thing. And it, it's scary for me because I'm like, yo, like, what if I try this? And I'm like, hey, I don't know if I'm going to like this girl like that. Or what if I like this girl too much? You know, like, and then, like, I just end up getting fucked over at the end. Here's what I'm going to say to that. Two things. As far as your insecurities go, embrace them. Because they're a part of you. They're never going to fucking go away. We're so always going to be insecure about some shit. Yeah. That's just the way our, our fucking minds are designed. Yeah. Um, But embrace them because they they have formed you into the person that you are today. I love the fucking person that you are, Wyatt. I think you're a fucking awesome dude. I think you're fucking stand up. I think you have a huge heart. You're kind of cute. Um, Give me two or three Everything years. that he said times 12 for me. Exactly. But then another thing too, as far as like possibly trying to, oh, we're cheers in? Hell yeah. Cheers. Thank y'all. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, um, But then as far as like you not being sure whether or not, you know, with, with dating and stuff, that's life man like you're never gonna be sure about something unless you try it bro i just hate hurting people in the process you know what though but that's a part of life sometimes it hurts sometimes it fucking yeah. sucks it fucking sucks but that is a part of life and we get over that hurt yeah dude like, and, you, and you know, sometimes you have to hurt yourself in the process because of the fact like you look back on everything, and there's nothing that you specifically did wrong. There's nothing that Rob did specifically wrong. There's nothing that I did wrong. Yeah. But you have to hurt yourself in the process to know, I don't ever want to be back here. Exactly. I want to learn how to be a better man overall. Yeah. And that's what I struggle dealing with is, you know, man, we, we all make our mistakes. And going back to the self-accountability aspect, you own up to them, you fix them, and you move forward with your partner. Yeah, exactly. But if you can't do that, that's not even on you. And well, what can you do for that? Yeah. You exactly. can't control someone else's feelings. Yeah. yeah. I just, and some, I, I just seen, ahead. yeah, it's all good. I just seen so like, like for me personally, I've seen so many reoccurring like things and that I think I can get past, you know, and I see them when they're, 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 they're there, but I don't say anything. And that's where the communication And see, works. that's, that's when you need to go ahead and say, Hey, look, this seems like a red flag. I need to go ahead and address that. And, and either yeah, one, yeah. <laughs> address it and fix it or two, address it and then move forward Yeah, and, and, and move away from it because you're you're gonna see the same fucking patterns that have <coughs> led to the demise of a relationship. Yeah. Um. And if you continue to pursue those, obviously it's it's gonna end the same way. So you gotta fucking figure out a way to either one fix those red flags, or two start looking for something a little different, dude. Yeah. 
Change no, your you're taste right. up a little bit. But you know what I mean? I mean, I'm, like, I'm content with myself, though. Like, no, you know, and that's, that's the thing. That's, that's great that you're content with yourself. Yeah. I'm saying... What the fuck am I trying to say? I had it in my head just a second ago. You're content <laughs> with yourself, but you're not content with the way that you try to pursue relationships. You're right. And that's where you need to be content. That's that's what you need to be content with. That's what you need to be comfortable <clears throat> with. Because if you're not comfortable in the way that you pursue relationships, then no relationship is ever going to fucking work for you. Yeah, you're right. And, and that, that's just the God honest truth. That's not me trying to be a fucking asshole. That's not no, me trying to fucking... it makes sense. It makes that, sense. That's just the way it is. And, and that's the only way that a relationship is going to thrive you know what's crazy for you. you know what's crazy though like like you know i'm not i'm not a jealous person say if we're talking like me and another woman are talking right i'm not a jealous person but when i get into a relationship with somebody i become a jealous person i can, i become very territorial does that make sense it's so, it's fucking nature dude, dude we're men that's like, what happens yeah. and, and but like at the same time like you know like i had i have women that are like yo why you gotta be like that like you know blah blah blah, blah. and i'm like yo dude just let me do <laughs> like i'll get over it you know just because just here's talk the thing with me about it i'm fucking territorial like that because i feel a certain way about you because i feel <laughs> yeah. so strongly about you because exactly. i don't want to have to worry about the possible competition of another person and see it goes back to communication if you don't communicate why you feel that way they're, not they're never gonna, gonna understand know. it. Yeah, and it, yeah. like, see, I've tried that still to the, like to this day. But I mean, I think I was young, like when I was like in serious relationships, and you know, I just didn't know how to love people properly. And you see, know? it starts with when you're young. A lot of women, when they're young, they're not willing to accept different feelings other than their own point of view. Yeah, exactly. And, and you it, can't force that on a person. You no, never you can't will be able to. But that's why I stopped to care, like, because I, I can't, I can't. Fair. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't form somebody to be somebody that I want them to be. But this is exactly no. what I was talking about. Yeah. You can't let the past define your future. Yeah. You can't yep. say, you know what, this girl taught me like this, and the next girl's going to do the same thing. When realistically, I just get this like she's opposite from that. And I she's know. Willing to let you but, grow. But I still get this like feeling in me, and I'm just like I fucking. It's stop anxiety. It. I stop it. Yeah, That's what it, it is, is man. It's anxiety. anxiety. But you have to. You know how to cope with that shit. Yeah, but I don't know if that's you know gonna, what I, mean? I don't know if that's gonna make me happy though. Like you know, I, that's why but, I need to but, take my but time. But here's the thing: you don't know unless you try. You've mm. never taken that step. That's, you got to <laughs> take that first step forward, and you have to re, you have to make the you have to make the agreement with yourself. Look, I'm gonna take this first step with the realization that I might get hurt in the process of this. Yeah. But it could be worth it. It could be the start of something. I'm going to fucking pull one out of uh, High School Musical. It could be the start of something new. <laughs> I fucking hate you. <laughs> um, but it could also give you that mental clarity that you've been searching for. Yeah. Exactly. I don't know, man. I, I think I think right now, I think the best bet for me is just to kind of just chill out. And really, for me to gather everything. Mm-hmm. And, then try, and then try again. No, seriously, this is what, that's what you need to do. When you come to Texas, you need to just focus on your boys, a.k.a. me and Justin, and tacos, <laughs> and, nobody and else. Uh, slamming Taco, some White Claws, bro. Tacos, uh, White Claw, and life. That's no, it. We're going to do uh, it all taco, together. Taco, tacos, White Claw, and uh, Scary Movie Cuddle Party. Hey, hold on. We can't forget my my buddy Cody, because uh, Justin, I don't know if you really want to be a part of this from like a while, like for a while. And uh, cause he li- he's gonna live right next to us. So Who, Justin, yeah. Justin's so I can spend the night at Justin's house. Justin's from Texas. I know he is, dumbass. Uh, well, I mean, chill. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, that's why. That's me and Justin have already talked, dude. We already have a sleepover set up for whenever he gets back. Oh, weird. I didn't fucking know that. Oh, don't worry. You were invited, regardless. Oh, I, I thought this. It? Justin, I thought this was the one we weren't gonna invite him to. Just make him. Okay, my bad. I fucking hate my life. <laughs> no, man. No, but seriously, I was I was low-key kind of jealous whenever I saw that you guys were watching movies together, cuddling. <laughs> I saw that shit, college. and I was just like, that should be me in hey, the middle of that fucking sandwich. Oh, yeah, you're right, bro. Dude, like, absolutely. One bed, hey, just three homies. You know, Justin, you know, you like do you like scary movies? Do you like scary movies? Oh, dude, love them. All right, so, <laughs> so that, Wyatt... We're gonna make a fucking uh, living room fort at your house. Same. Yeah. And uh, we're we're gonna go ahead and put on. Uh, as long as there's tickle, bo- can we do tickle fights too? Um, it would be weird if we didn't. Yeah, thank God. The speedos I was just, I only is the dress code. <laughs> speedos. Yeah. Speedos. Oh yeah. 
Hold oh, on. I thought the dress code was nothing. Oh, damn. I guess we we misinterpreted something. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. I have a speedo, so it's all good. <laughs> it's American flag. Hell yeah, man. No, so like I'm I'm excited to hang out with you guys like all together, you know, and then getting this shit established so we're not Same. just in my fucking room anymore. God no, dude. I can't wait to have a fucking setup to where we're actually yeah. good to go. And it's in fucking person with all three of us yeah, here. 100%, man. And, you know, I think I think we're going to get, like, what I'm going to invest in is a better camera. I mean, this one works for now. You know, at least you get to see us and shit. But at the same time, it, it, like, I want to, like, a full-on, like, hey, like, this is optimal. Like, you can see everything. Um, you know, this is us, you know. And, yeah. And that's what I want to bring to the table. Um, I know y'all want that, too. Um but and and we can get everything established while we're there. Um, the biggest thing right I want to do right now is just get everything um, established and get like our followers in, um, wanting to know more about us and getting things out there. And and that, and that stems from us needing to post more too. Yeah, yeah, and we That's need something to. we've been struggling with. We need to definitely be more interactive with yeah. uh, our social media, and and probably boosting it a little bit as well yes. not gonna lie man yeah so no you're not wrong and uh guys you know like like we say it every episode but like y'all like fucking sharing this and and any type of sharing that y'all do you know this this helps us out it helps us like form like what we need to do um and 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 helps us grow so we can get better equipment better shit and helps us uh you know like get more involved with you guys so uh and if you don't believe us i get it but at the same time, like, you know, we're not just another fucking YouTube show. We're not just another fucking iTunes, Spotify, fucking, like, podcast. We want to get involved with people. That's why we do this. Yeah. We, we like to have a good time. We like to fucking talk to people. We like to get to know people. We, we like, like to get in our feelings. We want to touch yep. Justin's butt together, you know, like, in Rob's pecs, you know. It's just, it's one of those things in my fucking mustache. So, you know. Um, you didn't see it. <laughs> you know, I, it's just, it's just, it's just funny, bro. Like, it, it, it's funny that, like, you know, we just started this shit out of nowhere, and yet we're getting somewhere, you know, slowly. But y'all's, y'all's likes, shares, and, and like subscribes, like fucking do shit, and we notice they that. do. We exactly. can see everybody that subscribes to us, everybody that likes and follows us, and all that shit. Like, we, we, we see that you accept our, our Facebook invites, and that y'all like it. I appreciate it. It's that easy, right? You click on it, you say yes. It was the was... coolest thing too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say this. When I went to Ernie's that night, yeah, I had seen a couple people from high school and everything, and um, me and my wife were leaving the bar, and as I'm walking away, one of my buddies goes, "Later for Darko." By the way, I'm listening to your podcast, and oh, I was like, yeah. "Oh shit!" Yeah, we just gotta get ambitious scumbags known. Exactly. But, if we can get a flag in every small business in Cibolo and Sherman, that's Shirts, what I'm saying, dude, bro. It will come. Yeah. It, oh yeah, I know. I know. Like, what the fuck is that? And then be like, check it out. Boom. Check it out. Go. Hey, go subscribe, and, and then yeah. you can tell them what you think. Because you can hang it. You know, like it, it, it's a not like fl- people love hanging flags in bars. That, that's just no other than you know. Exactly. And uh, especially if it looks fucking cool, we look fucking cool. But especially if I can get other businesses like. Barstool operators, like you know, just in there. Like I just like this sh- this guy's shit. You know, he's got cool shit on there. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna put this flag on there. It's fucking solid. I like the emblem. I have a shirt too. Um, you know, it's solid. And 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 if like I could probably tag him on this shit too, honestly, and just be like, hey, yo, dude. Like I've been having your flag in my shit for the longest time. <laughs> you know, like uh, but at the same time, I just haven't yet. Um, but it helps his business grow too, you know, and, and I love a lot of his merch guys, uh, check out Barcel operators. Like the shit is fucking dope. If you're military, um, if, if you're soft, you know, like, uh, it, special operations forces, um, fucking check it out. It's fucking dope. Um, but at the same time, you know, dude, I'm, I'm here to support everybody equally. And, and I love to support businesses, bro, because it's how we grow as Americans, dude. That's exactly, how we grow. Man. That's how we grow in the world, dude. America is founded on a fucking, uh, it's, it's founded on businesses. So, you know, like, it's just, it's just one of those things, man. And I, I'm very happy to, uh, share this time with you guys. I have nothing left to say. And, uh, I am ready to end this episode unless y'all have something else more to say. Thank you for having me. I love both of you. I love you too, brother. And everybody out here too, subscribing. Man. And we love you. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, also check out uh, Black Rifle Coffee Company because they've been making me laugh my fucking ass off yes, recently. Yes, dude, I cannot also fucking... also from Texas. So, that's actually something I wanted to say, too. Um, when Whenever you get here, Wyatt, and <laughs> yes. Justin, when you come back, too, obviously the invite is open to you, too. I want to go ahead and have the three of us take a trip up to Bernie. Yeah. Um, that's the headquarters this... of Black Rifle, right? Yeah. Um, the headquarters in Salt Lake City, oh, okay. but their Texas, their Texas location is up in Bernie. Um, nine times out of ten, if you want to see the uh, creators of Black Rifle, yeah, so that's I think the it's best a, place to go. JT and then... Uh, JT, Evan Best. Hafer, Matt Best. I'm just saying um, I have a Black Rifle sticker on my truck. <laughs> That is my <laughs> shit. I absolutely love it, yeah, bro. Man. I'm the same way. I got hats, shirts, coffee downstairs. I got it all, man. I got. I gotta but, show you. I gotta show you their content. Their content's funny. It's funny. Their content's hilarious. And they man. have their content. They, they have this guy Caleb Francis. Like you Caleb follow? Francis is fucking hilarious, fucking dude. Funny as hell, bro. Like, uh, like. So I love all their content. Um, they're kind of similar to like what we're going for, except we don't have. I like coffee. But they're the coffee um, experts. experts, yeah. They, and they, they ship the, the coffee, coffee out kings. that I drink. Um, but they're veteran owned. Uh, they're fucking phenomenal people. Uh, they're funny as shit. They have a lot of veterans on their um, on their stuff. What was it? Um, Jack, uh, what's his name? Jack. Jack Mandeville. Mandeville. So I can, look, dude. Funny, I know every too. single person on yeah. there. All right, dude. Yeah, Jack Mandeville's funny. hilarious. Yeah. Heather yeah. Lynn's hilarious. Fucking oh, yeah. all of them. Alex Zedra, who plays Mara on Call of Duty, yeah, he's so, funny. Stop it. You know what's funny? I saw, I think I saw JT, and then I saw uh, Jack Mandeville on Vet TV. Oh, dude, they're fucking, yeah, they're Vet, hilarious. Vet TV is also a funny, uh, funny place to subscribe to if you're a veteran. Donnie uh, O'Malley. Remember, Donnie O'Malley is a motherfucking funny dude. dude. Funny dude. Yeah, so he uh, he has like a lot of these like you know little little shows that he's trying to grow up. How to and, catch Jody. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude! It's just it's funny. It's it's like spot on, and it's all good humor, you know. And, uh, and that's yeah. what we love. Uh, but at the same time, you know, we we do want to support civilian people and their companies and their businesses. But at the same time, uh, for the vets, man, we're here for you guys, bro. Like I, I, I am especially, bro. Like, I'm here it. for the vets too. Coming from a veteran family, I and and you. and somebody that wanted to serve but unfortunately couldn't. I just love people that are as fucked up as me. Hey, yeah, hey, like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'm just as fucked up as you. You have no idea, Rob. You have uh, no idea. You have no idea. Have you ever smelt foreskin before? <laughs> Four times and you can count. Fair enough. <laughs> then we're fucked up together. Anyway. Hey, you know what I told? I don't think I ever shared this story with you, but I'm going to go ahead and just say it while we're recording, too. I went to MEPS. Oh, Justin's leaving. Yeah, well, people. Hey, hold up. Oh shit! Well then, I'm gonna wait for him to tell this story. Please. Hey, you want to cross swords? I got a PP too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, we're gonna go cross swords. Hey, Rob, tell me a little bit. I'm gonna talk for a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, those two dipshits go uh, play chicken together. Um, guys, I cannot express how much y'all support means to us. Um, just all the listening, uh, the sharing, the likes, everything. It means the world to us. Um, because we can't grow without it. Um, obviously, continue to do so. Continue um, being engaging with us. If we post questions or something on Instagram, Facebook, whatever, throw down a comment, throw down whatever your fucking thoughts are about it and uh, let us know because we definitely want to uh, be as in engaging with our, our listeners and audience as possible. Which reminds me, I believe that I had a question that was to be answered. Um, let me see. This one is for Miss Desi. And she goes, how many seven-year-olds do you think you could fight off before they take over? And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this one back to them, too, whenever they come back. Um, because it's, it's funny. I like it. And it, it makes me think about how many seven-year-olds I can take on. Yeah. Like a week or a couple days in advance so, or something. So, hold on. We're, we're gonna, all right. Back at it. Yeah, back at it. I'm gonna have Justin throw on his headphones too. All right. So, guys, question for you. This is from one of our listeners. Okay. All right. This is from Desi. Okay. Um, I had asked on our Instagram, 
to ask some questions that they might want answered on the show. And she was Same. the only one to respond. <coughs> Fuck. She goes, how many seven-year-olds do you think you could fight off before they take over? Ooh. You say so, seven or 70? Seven-year-olds. How many seven-year-olds? How many 70-year-olds? Seven. Seven-year-olds. All right. Seven. So, all right. Let's break this fucking shit down. Now, here's, here's my question, okay? All right. Is it individual? Are they coming in waves? <coughs> if so, how many? So there's three of us. Three of us, seven-year-olds. How many 70-year-olds? Seven. Seven-year-olds. Zero, seven. 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 So how many seven-year-olds? How many? She didn't She didn't say that. No, she's asking us how many do how we many think do you take think? on. Okay. Before before they kicked our ass. So we need, we need to take, we need to break down a formula, right? Solid right. one. How many, how many do you think you could take on by yourself? Me. A solid one seven-year-old. Well, how, how tall is one seven-year-old? Uh, seven-year-olds bro, probably what? Three foot? Bro, seven-year-olds Probably, probably so about four. three and a half feet. But they're so freaking crazy nowadays. They are crazy. They don't get all a hyped fuck. up on sugar and fucking iPhones. Solid, iPhones. solid one to yeah. zero. Hey, and don't forget, do you have any games? Because I'm just gonna get my fucking phone. Yep. Yeah. And uh, we're defenseless at that point. But at the same time, so are they. So mm. we can catch them if we can. If we can hit them, we we need a lot of iPhones. We need a lot of iPhones. Yeah. Right. So um, if we have or, for, iPhones, or Fortnite yes. or Roblox. So we have if you three have, iPhones here. If you have video games, if you have video games, we can stop those seven-year-olds immediately. Immediately. Yeah. And I don't know what women, little little girl seven-year-olds are like. What are they like? I don't know. Because I know. I don't I, know. I, I, three I just figured out how to stop them. Let me hear it. You fucking play Simon Says. <coughs> Simon <coughs> Says. And you eliminate them one at a time. Exactly. Simon Says, go. Simon Says, stop. And then you're like, Simon says, go. go the fuck home. Yeah, but, well, they're going to do all those things. Yeah, yeah, and you're going to be like, don't come back, and then they come, or, all like, they come, or come back, Sim and then they're like. Simon, Simon says, don't come back. No, all you have no. to do is say, no. this was on TikTok, and Simon says, you have to go. And oh, there exactly. go all those girls. Boom, on. Dude, I will Red Rover the shit out of some seven-year-olds. <laughs> red Rover, Red Rover, y'all about to get yeeted. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's like it's like that dude on TikTok. Yeah, have you seen that guy on TikTok? The the fucking uh, one guy. He's like, who said? Who said? So like put the he'll put the fist up and he's like, oh don't do it. And then a fucking hand him. Dude, his his content's fucking hilarious. Yo, hey, uh, what was that one that we were talking to? Like, so he says, all right, hey Rob. So what would you do if I took my cell on a walk and then I fucking went to my grandma's house on Tuesday? <laughs> like, you're right. What, wait, what? <laughs> Bro, it, it, it's one of those where you say random shit. You you FaceTime somebody and you say uh -huh. the most random shit ever, and you record their reaction. Hey guys, if y'all listen to me, say some fucking like like no. <laughs> I just want to see some videos and recordings of you guys personally, and I want this. This made me and Justin laugh our fucking ass off, bro. You would say some random shit, right? And you're like, bro, like check this shit out. So like, like the other day, I was taking my snail on a walk. And then I didn't get to my grandma's house till Tuesday, and then they're gonna be like, "Yo, what? What? <laughs> what? I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know the vice. It's all about the reaction. Yeah, man, it really is, and and that's that's what I thrive off of. Like, so, so something like this. So I was making fucking spaghetti, and I got my dick caught in the cheese grater, and <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck that happened. Yeah. What kind of pig fit in a cheese grater? Yeah. What kind what? of cheese did you use? <laughs> Fomunda <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Hey, from one to my hey, nuts. All I'm saying is, <laughs> Wyatt and I are both going to be TikTok famous. Mm. And Rob, I have you guys beat on that so far. Yeah, he really does. He's got some pretty good fucking TikTok. I have one. I have, and I know it doesn't sound like a lot right now. I got one video right now that's at <coughs> eleven thousand two hundred views. I have one video at uh, two point five k views. That's it. Two point five. Okay. But Dude. imagine the eleven plus the two, like we could do some serious damage. But the I was actually the one that you guys made the other day that you posted, I was actually <laughs> gonna do at that shit and fucking go in my cowboy shit and run into the bedroom. It was that cowboy hat, right? <laughs> Dude, the cowboy team. hat, I was like I was like, I need to do that now. Hey, tag team it, bro. Like you can put videos side by side. Yeah. <laughs> so we can make it work still. We're gonna make it work. Absolutely. But at the same time when we get back, uh guys, there's gonna be more more content on TikTok uh, together, and then uh, 
there's going to be like uh, more podcasts that, and the podcast uh, scene will be set up a lot more it's going to be more widescreen um, more open yeah absolutely so you're not just getting a fucking bullshit fucking camera here just you know uh, making it work but at the same time you know we want y'all to view us and, and see our reactions as well as listen to us um, guys we love you thank you for all the support and love that you give to us um, yep. Thank you for the continuous like sharing and shit too. We've gotten a lot of that and and crap questions and support, dude. Like Desiree, uh, she's the one that uh, like told us like, about the seven year olds. I saw the comment, and uh, hopefully we answered your question because that was a, that was a good hard question. That was a really you know what you know what Desiree. I think that I could probably take out about a hundred seven year olds. A hundred, yeah, at least, Ooh. at least. Hey, because you know what, you know what, think about it. One good right hook is probably gonna drop this. Too, bro. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over there like this. I'm just gonna go really fast. No, you know what? Just <laughs> close line this shit out. <laughs> yeah. All it takes God. is one good nut shot and yeah. you're done. Oh yeah, exactly. You're right. And they're careless. So like, and and you know what? They're at nut level too. So if they hit you in the nuts, bro. <laughs> hell yeah you're done skis yeah you're done I mean, it like, takes, why, we're old now here's one nut question. shot and we're down here's the question though why are all these seven why is there a hundred seven year olds and why are they all super mad at us maybe maybe um it's our faces you know, maybe it's For, our faces the Fortnite connection was down on the big exactly screen. so they all decided to run outside for the first time in years and they're like like where's your parents i'm feeling ambitious and i'm feeling like a scumbag yeah whose <laughs> ass can i kick let's kick the ambitious scumbag guys ass. Like, all right well i need 107 year olds on this fucking podcast because they're a bunch of ambitious little scumbags <laughs> exactly <laughs> um but on that note guys we're gonna go ahead and sign off yeah. uh, again like wyatt said we appreciate all the love and support please continue it uh, we look forward to meeting everybody at the meet and greet absolutely uh, the man. date will be announced here soon once we get everything figured out um, and we will definitely let you guys know. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the next episode. We love you guys. We love you very much. Uh, Austin, looking forward to meet you too, bro. Thank you again for fucking Yeah, Austin, we appreciate you. Hell yeah, bro. And thank uh, both of y'all for having me. By the Justin, way. it was, thank you. Thank you for being on here, man. We appreciate uh, the shit. Thanks Justin, for talking. Justin might be a regular. So I'm cool uh, with Justin being a regular, man. Yeah, I can't wait to see his penis. On my face tonight. Do not get your hopes Subscribe up. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is why people can't take you seriously. Yeah, and they don't need to. <laughs> That's fair. All right, but guys, anyway, we're going to go ahead and dip out and, and do some weird shit. So yep. we love y'all. About to get weird. Oh. Yep, later. Later.